Yo, what up, y'all? Unfortunately, we had to delete the wiki wiki wild due to worries of getting uh, losing money on Patreon, which would suck. But I recorded this shit on a website, and it fucking slaps. This is just stock. I come in on the synthesizer. It's like unfucking real. Episode 135, dude. Wow. Whoa. 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 Are you spooked out? Whoa. Yeah, we just watched that fucking... Very spooky. That Area 51 stuff, dude. Bob Lazar leading the fucking charge, dude. Dude, that's like nerd glory to work on alien stuff. It's about as spooky as it gets, too. I think That fucking f- cool hipster was making, like, cool beats. Oh, for Playing sure. cool music, showing fucking flash <laughs> images of like cartoons from the forties. He was trying to Whoa. do a um, fuck. Who's that one documentary? I always talk about this guy, who did Century of the Self. I forget the guy's name. He like is like he'll throw all this crazy wild shit in there. It seemed like he was trying to do that. Yeah, was, like images. Yeah, fuck. I can't believe I can't remember this guy's name. But he was trying to do something like that. Yeah, like cue to fucking aliens, like dividing into four different aliens and then Mars. <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah. back to me in my apartment. Now, a being cartoon like, cat playing with atomic energy from the thirties. <laughs> Whoa. Cut to me in my apartment having a conversation for the ninth time, being like, I don't know, he might not be lying. Whoa. Whoa. Holy shit. It was just him being like, I researched with the top scientists. From- I was wondering, who the fuck did he call from Russia? And was like, I have a question about atomic energy and aliens. Who can you point me to? They're like, oh, here's our top guy. Yeah. He's like, dude, is this real? And he was like, probably. It could be. Thanks. Whoa. <laughs> Hold up. Let me take off my shoes. I'm in frame now. Yeah, let me... He, this guy just... There's a documentary on Netflix. I guess Bob Lazar was just on rogies mm-hmm. i didn't listen yet but um this guy does a documentary about this whole thing and the whole time he's wearing no <laughs> shoes or socks I know. he's just sitting on camera barefoot with a cool beard and a cool haircut and a sleeve expensive tattoo. jeans dude very expensive jeans. very nice apartment yeah it's got very cool rustic apartment yeah it's, everything's wood there's everything all wood in there. the entire thing about this guy is fraudulent i would say Pure fraudulent. If you're investigating alien claims, your par- your apartment has to be fucked up, dude. Yeah, like, I need Lazar stacks, spots probably stacks of tossed. magazines. Yeah, dude. Fucking old shit. Every not like like this guy's clearly he he's in style. Yeah, he's he's cool today. I don't want to see that. No, I don't want to see somebody who picked up their fashion and entire fucking identity this year. Bob, which, yeah, exactly. That's pathetic. Bob Lazar, on the other hand, Bob Lazar, impeccable. He's got your fashion, dude. It's just he had a tucked-in T-shirt <laughs> to like beltless <laughs> pants. <laughs> all of his shirts were science geared. That was him. Be like, what am I on a science thing? All right, let me get all my science shirts. Every shirt he has is definitely. Yeah, science. dude, that was like some of those visuals, dude. Were too fucking trippy. They were. Yo, I was so tripped out. I had. I told you, I had fucking. <laughs> I had a CBD gummy yesterday. Oh, I'm shit, fucking dude. high, bro. Fuck. I'm so. That's why how I'm many, so. How many millies? The fucking tons. Shit. I don't even know, dude. dude. You might have made know. contact. You might have ate a whole pack of CBD gummies and made contact. I did. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> man! I'm on CBD right now. Dude, <laughs> CBD is the best, <laughs> dude. CBD. That was. That's all CBD isolate too. That's like the straight CBD, dude. Whoa. No THC, just straight, whoa. uncut, raw. Man. You could snort CBD if you want it. Really? If you got the isolate, oh, it's, a yeah. white, it's a white powder. You could snort <laughs> yes. CBD, dude. Really? Yeah. If you started taking, if you started bumping CBD at comedy clubs, dude, you get nothing but respect. If I had one of those like Coke necklaces that you just scoop out of it and 
<laughs> shovel right in your nose of CBD. That'd be fucking balling, You dude. should grow a CBD nail, like a little pinky, a long coke <laughs> nail, and just be like, <laughs> go out and ah. Whoa, man, my joints are so not inflamed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, that's you'd crazy. You'd be Richard Pryor of CBD. Yeah, man. So, like, cooking that up with a little bit of baking soda, start whipping your wrists. Whip CBD it. is r- changing the game of CBD comedy. CBD crack dude. would be Who would have thought hook? CBD would fuel comedy? I mean, CBD, what else? What other big... Uh, Oh, that that fucking Skankfest bag, oh dude, <laughs> lube. I was upset. I was I was going. The, the, yeah, I was. There was like, it was funny. It was, when you go when you do a comedy festival, typically they give you like a like a gift, like a, a gift bag. Skankfest continues to run the game when it comes to gift. Their bags. gift bags is definitely part it's like of a pen. <laughs> There's always like a pen and a, a notebook pen. in there. There's a pen and notebook, like a d- bottle of lube. Bottle which of that lube. was nice. The best was the fucking. Like drug testing kit, fentanyl kit, dude. I oh, is I that a, what that was? Yeah. To test for fentanyl. It was a test for fentanyl. I was going through the contents of it. It was like blunt wraps, fentanyl tests, lube, and I'm like, dude, what the fuck is this? Yeah, man. I was, you know, I was pretty happy. <laughs> flaming hot Cheetos. <laughs> was there flaming hot Cheetos? That's hilarious because that means Okani ate his. Did he? Really? I only got O'Connor's bag. That means he definitely ate those flaming hot Cheetos. What? Yeah, a little late night. They pretty snack. much hit you with a Joe's box. They really did. That is Joe's box. <laughs> Shout out to our sponsor, Joe's, Joe's box. Joe's box.net, dude. <laughs> yeah, I, I really want to um I was talking about this today. The new the new sponsorship regime. Oh. Strictly through Patreon. You gotta you gotta hit us with an idea. If you got if you're an entrepreneur entrepreneur. If yeah, if you're an entrepreneur. If you're an entrepreneur and you hit us with your business idea. We will run your ad if you come through the Patreon network, but you have to be willing to sit through a Shark Tank of an hour long Shark Tank hopefully, episode. If we can do the Shark Tank, I would love to have Billy and Spud as the I other get them for the, the shark four tank. sharks, you, me, Billy and Spud Dude. going through your company. And they'll be like, yes, we'll allow you to advertise through our space. Or people yeah. are like, I don't know about it. I'm going to pass. Like, He's crazy. He doesn't know anything about this industry. Dude, if we do a Shark Tank, that'd be the best. Shark Tank with people is, like Joe's box. Shark Tank would have been so fucking funny. Yeah, there's still time, dude. We can do it. So we can do Shark Tank. If you want to advertise through, through our podcast, our numbers are out of the control, dude. They're and wild. It's a deal unlike any other. Yeah, we're not juicing you for top market. We're going. We're basically flipping the pyramid upside down. Yeah. Typically, it's like you get an advertiser and you got to bow to the advertiser, and they're like, "Well, I can't say certain things." It's like, no, no, no. We're going to interview you, dude. Yeah, we're going to interview you as the person with the money and say, "We'll see if you're a good fit." And if we Shark Tank you and we just wow. obliterate you, and all you have to do is sorry, all you have to do is join the page. That's it. All you have to do is join the page, and it's just random selection, or just it's inbox. Like, yo, I'm looking to do it. Like, all right, what's your thing? And if your idea just like, well, we're going to Shark Tank you, even if it sucks, because we're going to eviscerate <laughs> your ideas. But so, <laughs> so yeah, so that's that's what I've I've come up with. All right, it's no it's no pay to play. It's all dude. I mean, this is pure blockchain we're talking. I mean, that's this I is love pure block- blockchain. Uh, my favorite thing is blockchain. Oh, this is nothing but decentralized blockchain. That's the only thing I care about right now. It's unbelievable. What is blockchain? This is the People's Republic. What is blockchain? Pro- I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is the pu- this is the People's Republic. It's of funny that, it's funny that like I remember about midway through so far, like a couple maybe like a hundred episodes in, fifty episodes. In, no, it was less than that. Yeah, probably like fifty episodes in when you just like when you discovered Reddit. Oh man! And you became like you're like borderline an internet comic when it comes to like your way of thinking, like blockchain, fucking this, <laughs> Bitcoin. Uh, but you have no understanding. <laughs> you go on Reddit, get like flash terms, and come on, you're like, I'm all about fucking Elon Musk and Bitcoin right now. All about blockchain right now. I think it's just like it just takes it just decentralizes everything. So it's just like it's just person to person transaction. Hell yeah! I don't know how that applies to us, but it's for sure just person to person. Yeah, that's what we're about. Like if Sprint would have to hit us up. And if Sprint was like, yo, we want you to do a read, I'm like, get on the page. Sorry, dude. Sprint. Hit me with your fucking product. You think Sprint's going to start using us? I mean, they'd have to go through the page. We'll yeah. see. Once they see our financials, they're going to be like, what the fuck? When we're pumping out, once we see, because I'm going to do a pure rise. If you want to advertise, I got to read your financial sheet. Then I'm going to rich dad, poor dad the return and be like, yo, we have a 20% return. Mm. And I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to like charge you for that, but I'm going to let you know, like, I know that we did that. That was us. Yeah. So. We'll see. The whole goal is to start like a Alex Mac, Alex Mac, Nexium sex ring. What? You don't know about Alex Mac? No. What? You, Alex, the Secret World of Alex Mac. That lady who was on Smallville. I know about too. that. 
Did you know she's like going away for for like aiding and abetting a sex cult? No, that's awesome. She, dude, what? she was, she was like trafficking women through a sex cult to have sex with this, this one guy. Apparently, started this cult. <sighs> Alex Max might go to jail for forty years. She's gonna slide right out. You think she's gonna turn into a pool of liquid? And <laughs> she's get out gonna of melt right under those cells. She, yeah, bro. She's, she's a better tricky hope one. she can, dude. Cause she's yeah. literally facing forty years for like basically sex trafficking, and they they went to find like the. Uh, the leader of the cult definitely was looking at like child porn and stuff, obviously. Yeah. Doing whatever he wants. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Child, obviously doing whatever he if wants. If you get powerful enough that like child porn is delivered upon you, come on. You yeah. should be allowed. If you're in a if you're, if in you're a sex like cult, the leader of a cult or if you're like pretty much always wearing like robes. Yeah, that's you're true. allowed to like you're allowed to take a gander. I would say you're allowed to like claim religious use, but apparently not. <laughs> Apparently not. No, that's that's but too yeah, bad. Dude. Yeah, he was like his whole thing was somehow he was like branding. He would like bring you this in is out west, right? Probably all this shit happens. All this weird shit coast, happens right? out west. Well, they're all like super nice. So like they're like, yeah, we're like real chill and go with the flow. And eventually yeah. you're just in a cult and you're like, whoa. Yeah, eventually some hey. dude's fucking your wife <laughs> and you're doing the dishes. <laughs> hey, oh man, oh come on, bro. It's not as chill as I thought it was, dude. I'm not stoked on this. But yeah, they, they were just like getting your this guy. His whole thing was like he would tattoo his initials on everyone in the thing, and then he'd like starve chicks to make them super skinny, and then he would fuck them, and he'd be like Alex Mack. Go find me more bitches, and then like she would be like, "Yes, wow." Somehow, and like, wait, he was tatting them up and making them skinny. Yeah, you he know was who tatt- else was doing that? Who? The Nazis. Yeah. Wow, I didn't think about that. You did not think about that. Fuck. <laughs> and it was just like a little teeny tat too, a very little. very Nazi ish tat. How about that? I don't know. I was thinking about the. <laughs> I was thinking about the Jews today. Really? Just about the. Just about being a secret Jew it was like that was cracking me up. What? What outside of the World War II context, there, there have been other secret Jews out there. There's definitely people who hide their Jewish identity, which is just like, it's so funny to think you need to hide. Like, well, you do. I know. Because of people like you, dude. Not me. I don't care about it. You're, but out, you're out seeking out Jews. You're hunting them out. Every time Gerben <laughs> no, comes on, you're no, always no. you're always <laughs> bugging him about being Jewish. It's the only nationality you can hide and be secret about. Yeah. Like no one's like there's no, there's no like secret Irish or secret. Italian. I should start denying my Irish heritage. You should be like no, I'm not. I'm pure Saxon. <laughs> <laughs> Change your name to Gillisberg and flip the script. Oh, claiming Jew is a sick. That there's a lot of people who flip the script and claim Jew. Yeah, there's a lot of fake Jews out there. I'm beginning to think that Jewishness doesn't even exist. It might be a psyop. It's a state of mind, dude. It might be a it might be a pure psyop. Wow. Yeah. That psyop you were telling me about Spud with his clay. Oh, dude. That's a sick spy, psyop on on Bill. What, for the Bill man? Yeah, scare him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Billy is making fun of Spud for wanting to use his modeling clay because Spud's a sculptor. Not a lot of people know about that. Yeah. And uh, and Billy was telling him, I guess he called him like a baby for using Play-Doh. <laughs> yeah. So Spud said he's going to make a life-size replica of Billy that's green, and Billy's going to come into his house and be utterly terrified, dude. It would be very spooky. Imagine seeing yourself, dude, just completely rendered in clay. <laughs> I'd be fucking scared, honestly. That would actually scare me. Yeah, if, if Spud didn't tell you and there was just a model of you in the house, <laughs> especially like at night just standing there, that'd be horrifying. Yeah, especially if he like he crafted the face to look like Billy like mocking and deriding him and Billy got to confront his fucking his own ugliness de- his daemon yeah and Billy got to dude, confront his personal daemon Billy needs to confront I was talking to Billy today via FaceTime yeah which is it's, it's always so funny dude is he, is he hit you up and just try to attack you no normally it's pretty friendly but he's usually in the truck and I'm usually in bed <laughs> like waking up at like noon he's like hey what's going on you look rough dude like, Damn. talking shit it's very funny he told me today if uh if i because i was facetiming i was like god damn i'm going bald man and he was like you gotta bick that thing you can be bobby kelly jr <laughs> he told me he told me i need to go on you know what dude and bick my head and not say a word or square frame glasses <laughs> just don't even acknowledge it dude if you, if you, if you went bk jr that'd be so funny if you just completely stole his swag bobby kelly jr out like more black v-neck <laughs> fucking bicked my head and wore those glasses and went oh, on you know what fuck. dude <laughs> And just didn't acknowledge it. That would be a successful sign. He was sign like, out. dude, what are you doing? And I was like, nothing, dude. What are you doing, dude? You go 
come on my show. Yeah. Dude, if you went that on and disrespect, s- if you psyoped him as him, <laughs> holy f- or, or 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 just launched into a full copycat psyop. <laughs> If you went on fucking, you know what, and is fully copycatted him, dude. <laughs> what, imitated and repeated every yeah. word he said. Yeah. <laughs> if you launch a copycat sigh out, <laughs> dude, dude, sitting there with a shaved head and his glasses on and repeating everything he says. <laughs> I might start. I might start a side uh, podcast now that I think about it for the re- for the Patreon. That is, I'm gonna go to like if you go on Reddit podcasting. There's all these guys like. Hey man, trying to launch my podcast. Da, da, da. I'm gonna be like, yo, I want to be a guest. We'll cross cast it. I'm gonna fully copycast. <laughs> it's, copycat. it's gonna be a copycat sigh up, but I'm gonna see how long a person will deal with it. I'm not repeating it. Because I'm like, dude, we, I'm like, we get like a million fucking, I'm so alive, we get a fucking million downloads a month. Just be like, but, you know, let's just let's do a podcast and purely, just like subtly copycat them. Like, oh, you're from California? Oh yeah, from California. <laughs> See how long they make it. Or just like, wow, that's crazy. So did I. Wait, when were you born? Oh, dude, man. that's crazy. I have the same exact birthday. What's your name? Like, dude, that's my name too. That's crazy. And just fully fucking sigh out them. <laughs> I want to do a sigh up with like, just let someone wake up and have, I think I've talked about this before, have like 30 people to stand around them and be like, dude, and just flip their, buy them like a, print them a ca- custom calendar for like 2026. 20, I'm like, bro, what are you doing? You've been asleep for fucking 10 years. Whoa. Like you Rip Van Winkled. Whoa. Like, what, what's going on? That'd be crazy. You want to sigh off someone like that? Yeah. You got to get 20 people to agree with this. That's fine. What type of futuristic or gear? Just, or just do like two days. That would be doable. Just be like, dude. <laughs> if, if you did that to me, I'd be like, oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, I wouldn't even. I'd be like, oh, it's Wednesday? Okay. Dude, you okay? You collapsed last night at the Comedy Cellar. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Like you were on stage and like you were killing for everyone who's fucking laughing and then you just collapsed. <laughs> dude, I made Spade. I made uh, the Spud Man pass out. How Spudman? I I gave him the reg. I'm, so my new regimen, the the book I want to do about the uh, just getting people able to handle just like total total the squares of squares, a roadmap for them to be able to handle psychedelics. It all starts with advanced meditation techniques. I hit spade with it. It's not mine. It's the Wim Hof like holding your breath. Oh, he did people. the breath thing. He did it, dude. He fucking just fell asleep. He passed out. <laughs> fell asleep. <laughs> he fell asleep. You get super lightheaded. The third one, he said he like when you do the final breath retention. He remember him being like, and then hold your breath. And he did the final retention. And then he's just like, your brother called me like three hours, like an hour later. <laughs> he's like, oh, what's up, dude? He passed out. I did it what, today. Billy called him. No, Kevin, my brother, Kevin. Oh man! Call him, dude. He passed. I'm on a guy. solid Billy kick right now. Dude. It cracks me off so much, dude. Just He's him like, calling, just talking shit. Dude, my whole family group text is just like if you catch if anyone's caught doing it. Like my brother Tom was in Virginia Beach, and someone like his wife put a picture up of him, just like just in like a nice wedding outfit. Kat Mar put it up, like what the fuck? What's this? Because everyone just constantly, if you have anything, everyone's constantly trying to bring you down, dude. It's such negativity. It's awesome. My family's nothing. Well, Billy, I Bill, hate my family. Like I said, Billy, Billy's trapped in that bit, dude. He is frozen in time in that dude, bit. Dude, if you're if all if you're going through the microscope of just like familial constant negativity, all you can do is just fucking get up. You early gotta and shield you yourself. Guys fucking suck, dude. <laughs> you gotta shield yourself yeah. by just being like, I'm a 52 year old hardworking man. <laughs> I don't have time for petty bullshit. That's the only thing that I mean. All you could do is become my dad, dude, to be safe from all the torture. Billy, it's just Billy. my little sisters are just little fucking devils with pitchforks trying to make us all into my dad. It's are they ultimate medium? psyop. I, I think my dad psyop us all just to basically become clones of him. Oh wait, are are your sisters? Dickheads? My sisters are mean, dude. They're being mean to Tom. They're being mean to Tom right now. About what? Just he wore a fucking just a nice outfit to the. Oh, beach. they're making fun of his outfit. Making fun of like what the what is, fuck is this, dude? Yeah, they're like just. <laughs> Like, why aren't you wearing a Guy Harvey button down with like the open flyback, dude? Do you ever see the fly fishing shirts that have like the vent in the back? <laughs> That's all my dad wears. <laughs> you gotta have like a pull, like a Guy Harvey button down with like a marlin on the sleeve, and then like access to like let your back sweat out. If you wear anything, if you wear anything other than that, you're definitely gay. Yeah, yeah man. Like, if you put any thought, if you put like any coordination into it, like, God forbid, to see some polka dots on a button down, dude. Oh my, my little God. sisters are coming, dude. <laughs> really? Like gonna nice get you? shirt. Yeah, dude. They're going to crush you. <laughs> of all people, dude. Damn. I love your little sisters. You think you'd be able to go to the women in your family with some fashion stuff? I'm like, how do you like this? And they're like, gay. These <laughs> 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 stretchy jeans, gay. <laughs> dude, it's unbelievable. Yeah. That's uh, it's dark world, dude. Yeah, dude. Family chat. I'm, I'm trying to bring family some positivity. Chat. I'm trying to bring some positivity <laughs> to the family chat. It's just nothing but fights. <laughs> It'll be like, hey, Billy, remember you used to dress in pastels, you loser? <laughs> and he's like, fuck you. 
You're fucking skinny. And it's just like, I'll fucking fight. Dude, Tom and Billy have like scheduled a yearly fight every year. They're like, and it, it ends up like Tom once a year. Tom will get fucked <laughs> up, dude. Once a year. Tom will get rocked. Once a year, Tom ends up wrestling Billy for like 16 <laughs> seconds on the side of the house. And then be like, dude, I would have fucked you up, dude. You're lucky. I fuck, you're lucky I was tired. Yeah, they, wait, they've like wait. scheduled a fight like multiple times. Who who went to the wrestling? Billy, right? Billy's a lot bigger. For sure. Yeah, Billy. Billy's tough. I've taken Billy down when I'm doing when I'm actually training jiu jitsu. <laughs> I don't want to fuck with Billy at all. It's dude. scary, dude. Yeah. When you're like wrestling him, you see when he puts his full strength on yeah. you, it's like ah fuck. It's you're like really a, terrifying. You're wrestling a fucking grown man <laughs> truck driver, dude. True, I'm he's, he's fully morphed into the bit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's like he's stuck in like dice clay, Larry the Cable Guy world. <laughs> like he, I just became this bit. <laughs> Damn, dude, the Kenworth kid, my Kenworth kid, Kenworth kid my a veer off of seventy six. <laughs> he's gonna come at you. Know he's, you know, know he's gonna come at you, dude. No, I'm, it's just. He was calling me today. You, you just crashed a plane to the World Trade Center. <laughs> I know, you just I did. crashed I'm, a plane to the Kenworth Kids World Trade Center. Exactly. And I'm just going to be sitting back like Al Qaeda in Afghanistan, <laughs> just like, all right, well, we hit them. Now, what uh, What do you think they're going to do back? <laughs> I hope people know what we're talking about. No, the Kenworth Kid is. Uh, if you listen, if you don't know who the Kenworth Kid is, you got to do nothing. your research. We got nothing. Sorry, dude. You got to Bob Lazar out and do some research. <laughs> he's, he's the fucking man, dude. Unbelievable. Him him bothering like Comtown's Reddit and him doing like just his psyops while he's driving around. <laughs> yeah, him just going on there and being like, dude, this, these guys are so fucking. He he was on there today doing one for I think Legion of Skanks, but these guys fucking tell it like it is. Well, that's what he that's what he called me about today was he was like, I don't know about your bits, dude. <laughs> he's talking about bit because every Comtown like Reddit thing oh, is like, yeah, yeah. I love this bit. I yeah. love it. Like these bits, they just keep doing the same bits over and it's like, shut up about bits. Know, you fucking so homos. <laughs> yeah. So that's I, why, that's why I said Billy's there's bits. And Billy's skits. a bit, dude. He's stuck. He might be stuck in a bit in a bit simulation. He's frozen. <laughs> what are my people are stuck in bit simulations? There's a lot of people out there. Barn dog got stuck in a bit for a oh, little while. He fuck. was like, he became like a leisure suit Larry for a minute while he was in while he was in Lancaster. He was like fat, wearing like Hawaiian <laughs> button downs <laughs> and cowboy boots. Damn, dude. Yeah, it's tough to get out of one. You can get out. You you can. People definitely do get like fully sculpted into a certain personality. Yeah, you, you can get out of it. You go from like feminist to juggalo, <laughs> <laughs> or like you know, there's there's ways to trick. There's, the combinations are infinite, dude. Yeah, they're infinite. Infinite CBD. Yeah, dude. Dude, they're infinite fucking CBD. Yeah, that was uh, skank fest. Was I might fucking... I might go home and eat 25 milligrams of isolate. Dude, don't do it, dude. You'll be too chill. I'm gonna make sure to keep my fucking fentanyl pet, my fentanyl tester. <laughs> Check, fentanyl, fentanyl, fentanyl test the CBD. <laughs> it probably is. That'd be just so fent- funny. Probably it was, is just fentanyl. It was fentanyl. <laughs> Infinite CBD was just fentanyl. <laughs> like 38 skanks overdosed <laughs> at Skank Fest on CBD. They gave him fentanyl CBD gummies with a fake test. I heard kit. there were a couple overdoses of CBD at Really? Skank Fest. People got carted out? Yeah, dude. It what was happened? tough to see. They had Narcan off the CBD. They just fell asleep. They fucking, yeah, they'd pass out from being too chill. True. And you'd never <laughs> wake up, dude. That's true. <laughs> I was doing that this morning. I did my morning, uh, my morning meditation program. It's the Wim Hof breathing, and then an extra fifteen minutes after I'm done, my three rounds. And I was literally, um, I was in a, uh, I mean, I was in a pure fucking clear mental space, dude. After three rounds, sitting there, and I was trying to see if I could become chiller. So I was like, I'm chilling pretty hard. I wonder if I could chill harder. And I'd be like, oh, 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 <laughs> uh, dude, I got so relaxed that I actually got worried. Do you ever have a fucking chill attack where you're just completely like? No, so fucking chill. Right, I've like I was chilling so hard that I got concerned because I was already chilling, dude, off of three Wim Hof rounds, and I went, I think I because my my whole head was I was thinking about like my underlying just uh my adrenal function, yeah. HPA access, dude, classic stuff. So I'm like I'm wondering what my fucking hypothalamus pituitary, pituitary adrenal glands. <laughs> so I'm like I'm probably pretty hyped up just from having like years of high adrenaline, basically Vin Diesel in terms of life experience. So I'm yeah. like. I have years of high adrenaline, so I might think I'm chilling, but I'm not. And I was like, fuck. So when I was meditating, I'm like, dude, you think you're chilling? No, you're not. And I was just like, chill harder. And I was like, oh, God, chill harder. And dude, they came to the point where like my alarm went off, and I was like, I don't want to open my eyes right now. I'm chilling too fucking hard. Wow. Yeah, I was, dude, I was disturbed. 
It was pretty tight, dude. I'm telling you, the program's going to be Damn. out of the control. Once I finally map out the total program, it's going to be unbelievable. Of just how to take drugs and take naps? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> get ready, dude. You're, the, one gra- the psilocybin walks are coming in the woods, so get ready. We're you gonna don't take drugs that who made? Just they're just mushrooms. So God, I'm gonna bro. take mushrooms God and walk them. around in the woods with who? Me. Who else, dude? Maybe who, the Kenworth is, kid. No, maybe the Kenworth kid. Near the Kenworth dude. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk getting psyops, dude? Give me a bunch of drugs, put me in the woods with the, the Kenworth kid, dude. I'd be I'd be killed, dude. He might kill me. No, I'm I'm assembling a fucking dream, a small dream team, dude. To start to be the first round. I, I'll do it, but Billy can't be there, dude. No way. <laughs> I don't think Billy would do it. I don't think Billy. Billy no. doesn't really like. Uh, Billy doesn't like mushrooms at all. I bet he might like them, but I don't think he does. The bit prohibits him from enjoying the it. The Kenworth kid had early days of weed edibles when he was a youngster. Oh, really? Yeah, the Kenworth. I got some. Yeah, I got. I had someone slide the, de- the dossier on the Kenworth kid on me. Really? Kenworth kid used to fucking munch fucking weed edibles and did not <laughs> like it, dude. <laughs> my fucking my uh, my little cousin was telling me about that. I probably knocked him into shape then. It's he probably took some of those gummies and that's, saw that's the saw side the, effects. People don't yeah. talk about that. that's the side effect of extreme cannabis overdose is like coming out of it like I'm not fucking around at all anymore. Yeah, I've done, straight I've to work. So high a couple times that I'm like I want to fucking become a librarian. <laughs> 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 I've gotten so high I'm like I'm just gonna read from now on and stop doing everything. Then it like goes down. You're like, psych, I'm the best. Yeah, I'm not bugging out anymore. I'm definitely not going to become a librarian. <laughs> I've like, I've got so a high librarian. before that I'm like, I got to start studying real hard. <laughs> yeah, like I've literally been like, I should wake up every day and study for like four hours, dude. And then I'm like, yeah, that's a good idea. Then I feel better. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. No, it's. I mean, that's every hangover. What you're gonna? Every hangover I have, I'm like, I got to write this ship. Yeah. And then I'm not hungover and I immediately get drunk. <laughs> and I'm like, what am I talking about? This is great. <laughs> That's the move, dude. Yeah. To get scared. <sighs> I'm already scared. What are you scared about? Just shaking a stick at that old hornet's nest. Oh, you're talking about Osama that, Bill? <laughs> Osama Bill Laden, like, yeah, he headed down the fucking... Whew. Yeah, hey, man. It is what it is. It, it's, these things happen. You know, sometimes, you know, you take know a shot. Just hopefully you don't end up wrestling on the side of my parents' house. <laughs> oh, no, getting a wedgie at the <laughs> compound. Uh, you, have the can- you could probably buck against the Kenworth kid. I could buck a little, but Dude, I'd gas I'm, I'm, quick. W- I'm lighter than him, and I, if I get enough jujitsu in, I can hold I can hold my own against the Kenworth kid. I don't yeah. know. Look, I'm not bragging. I've definitely... So you up. think you can hold your own against him? If I, if I start training jujitsu, I need to train jujitsu for like a year. To just like not be demolished totally. To like slowly yeah. lose, I need to be like in the <laughs> slowly <laughs> lose. Be like, nice, be, nice. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I need to just like slowly lose. I need to like just not get completely pummeled. I need yeah. to uh, last time I did end up on top of him, not gonna lie. Wow, really? But it's one of those things where like if the Kenworth, if I fully awakened the Kenworth kid, I'd be <laughs> fucked up, dude. You feel the strength and you're yeah. like, fuck this. Yeah, that would uh I would need in order to beat him, I would need a time machine. To go back, yeah, you could train. Me, ten it. years ago, I'd be all right. You could train if you start training now. You might, you might now be able to take done. the Kenworth kid. Now dude. I'm done. Someone need the whole village is under fucking our whole compound. <laughs> the like, yeah, dude, <laughs> he's like a feudal lord that's rose to <laughs> yes, power dude. in the compound. He's just in a truck right now, calling, <laughs> making phone calls, keeping everybody oppressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, dude. It's funny because if no one else enjoys this, at least the fucking Billy gets a good twenty six minutes on the road, just being like, "Oh fuck yeah, yeah." Yeah, that's. that's uh, do you ever listen to a comedy podcast and just wait for people to talk about you? Yeah, I used to do that. If someone's on one, I'm like, well, listen to it. As soon as you hear about yourself, you're like, yes. <laughs> yeah, I've done that. <laughs> Somebody will be like, hey, they mentioned you on like Tuesdays with Stories or something. I'll be like, nice. Yeah, you I'll listen. listen to an hour and a half of them, <laughs> and then they say something at the very end, like, oh yeah, we're down in Philly with Shane Gillis. He's all yes. right. <laughs> nice. Yes. Uh, yeah, but Skankfest, dude. That was. What'd you think? That was fun, man. That was uh. uh the show itself. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm curious how it translates to audio. It was it was yeah, definitely our show fun. Was, our show was okay. Yeah, it was good. It was it, yeah, was, it was getting fun. some laughs. I Shane shotgunned a beer right before, and I idiotly like stupidly volunteered myself. I like dared myself to like shotgun my vape pen as hard as I could, yeah. and then the whole crowd actually got behind it. So I like started off the show and like a, oh I dude I like. I could have thrown up. I was coughing so hard. Oh, man. I was, it'd be funny if I threw up and I was getting saliva rushing in my mouth and I'm like, my fucking might, dude. Dude, if you threw up, that would be so awesome. 
I was thinking how awesome that would have been. That'd be. So fucking. It would, funny. it would have been fitting for that venue if I just threw up. <laughs> if I just threw up somewhere, it'd have been. I, I remember thinking that. Like I was literally, my first thought was like, I could throw up here, and it wouldn't be that weird. Yeah, you could throw up and just walk away. Oh, for sure. People, I mean, would, people would go. They would still go into the room. They'd be like, "It smells like fucking puke in that room." People would fuck whatever. Me. People would have been stoked if I puked. Yeah, I was getting ready. It didn't come, thank God. But yeah, so I started off the show just like fucking stoned. Yeah, you and were, I was I was pretty drunk. Yeah, you were. We were both on very minimal sleep. You yeah. extremely on a minimal sleep, and me just being asleep, baby. Being I'd done like three shows right before that that day. Oh. I was drunk. I do, you know, I that was a long weekend. Like Thursday, Thursday night, I had a long, or like a late show. Stayed out all night. F- woke up at like seven to fly to San Francisco. Landed there, went to my hotel, showered, and went straight to the show. And you're in a Bob Lazar time warp. And I'm in a Lazar time warp. <laughs> yeah, of dude. Just because <laughs> you're three hours behind, yeah. so you gain time. So you had to stay up even longer that night. Yeah, it was wild. Damn, dude. Then woke up Travis the next morning. Martin freaked out. Woke up the next morning, flew back to fucking New York. I landed at like around like one on Saturday. So you were there night. Thursday, Friday? No, I was just there Friday. F- just Friday. Damn, you're one night in town? Not like not even a day. Shoo. Not even 24 hours in San Francisco. Shit. And then flew back. And when I landed in New York, Louie had just been on at Skank Fest. You missed him. And I was like, fuck, I got to try to get there. Yeah. And then I made up my mind that I was going to go there that night anyway. So I went and just got drunk yeah. Saturday night. Well, he, mo- he most likely peeled he out was, pretty quickly. He was gone. Dude, when he did helium, he like literally ran away. <laughs> they gave him his money. They gave him cash. He gave him his duffel bags of cash. Him duffel bags of cash, and he just literally had the car pull up and just ran. <laughs> he ran away, dude. He saved, he's literally does a show and just runs for safety. That was pre-allegations. That was. Well, everybody still knew. But true. That's that why was pre. Well, yeah, pre like Vox being yeah. the no. Yeah. So you anyway. miss Lou, man. Miss Louie. Got drunk. Got drunk Saturday night anyway. Me and O'Connor. Oh, this is great to get. I didn't have my keys to my apartment, and then uh, oh, so the way Jesus we got Christ. into the house was we climbed in through the window. Yes, my, broke in. We broke in through my roommate Steve's room, and I thought he was out of town, but he was in there. <laughs> He's such a fucking dork. He was in there with like his mouthpiece in, his like retainer. To stop him from grinding and, his teeth? Yeah. O'Connor crawls into the room. You get little O'Connor man sneaking through your window. It's like dude. a raccoon. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> but this guy, just the way he reacted, because neither of us knew he was in the room. Oh. All of a sudden, you just hear like, what are you doing in my room? Because <laughs> like, he had that reaction of like waking up out of sleep. Like it was like not a normal reaction. It wasn't like he was scared or anything. He was just like... Get out of here. <laughs> you, get out of my room. <laughs> what did O'Connor say? O'Connor was like, what? Who's there? <laughs> like, oh, it was two God. dudes. O'Connor was hammered and this dude was asleep. <laughs> two dudes like me like, what? <laughs> Who goes there? <laughs> was it drunk argumentative O'Connor? It was great. Just being like, all right, relax. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. Both of us. I was like, shut up, Steve. You pose it. Like, Wait, so you came in behind him? No, I was like, go fucking open the door. Dude. You guys are like a classic burglar. <laughs> Me and Nogani are you great. You guys have a duo. perfect like yes. build for a burglar. Yeah, team. he sneaks in. I fucking come in the front. Like you would definitely case the joints out and be mm-hmm. like, all right, kid, here's what we're gonna do. Yeah, scout it out. There's not. I didn't see a dog there or anything. Send in the O'Connor. You send the O'Con man. O'Connor will fucking sneak around. Drunk O'Connor? That's a deadly assassin. So dude. just him going into the room. <laughs> yeah, falling into the room. You ever come into a room. window, you're always putting a ton of pressure on your belly, and you're like, ugh. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> O'Connor was crouched. He was still crouched down at like the foot of this guy's bed. <laughs> this guy was like, who is in my room? <laughs> who goes there? Oh, man, it was great. Yeah, that's funny. That's his, that's his like actual wake up, or that's yeah. his like defensive like, and he still had the mouthpiece in so he's like who's in my room <laughs> so, who is that he sounded like the sister from south park <laughs> in my room. <laughs> dude i told you we used to uh scare my one roommate like semi-regularly in college <laughs> we had a key to his room i think someone like cut the key to or he gave a key and he didn't tell anyone or someone like had a key cut for his room so he would lock it when he went yeah. to bed and we literally we snuck in there and scared him and he just went oh, oh, oh. <laughs> dude he freaked the fuck out <laughs> so yeah, funny. scaring people out of their sleep is that's a nice move. It's phenomenal. I want to, dude. YouTube scare pranks are the best. Dude, I love. Someone them. brings a chainsaw into a fucking like little kids room. <laughs> yeah, and they're like, oh, dude, they fucking freaked. Yeah, Did you ever see the yeah. parking garage ones? 
It's like a guy with an axe will like run after women in a parking yeah. garage and be like, chill out, it's just a prank. <laughs> yeah. It's like, dude, it's like dressed like a clown, he's holding an axe. Yeah. It's like, why are you doing that? He's like, I'm going to lurch behind this car and pretend to be a rapist. <laughs> Let's see what happens. We have hidden cameras. It's this all sick. Yeah, Whoa. That's pretty nuts. Whoa. Dude, that's wild. Dude. Yeah. What did you think? The live cast was good. I, um, I was kicking myself. I kept trying to go into talk. I had a bunch of stuff I wanted to talk about. And it was just like the worst arena to talk. Just And it had nothing to do with the arena itself. It was a live stand-up show full of drunk people in a hot room. Yeah. And I was like, all right, here comes the origins of conservative thought. And there, I would start talking about stuff and be, and I was so fucking stoned that I'd be like, uh, uh. <laughs> I remember at one point it ended up with me being like, what are you guys, I was trying to talk about the, the, it was like criminalizing people trying to survive and come to the country. I had, I had an overarching point. I forget what it was, but I was like, Ended up with me being like, what do you guys think about the wall? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, no one reacted? <laughs> no. Everyone was just like, uh. It was it was pretty funny. Yeah, there was some good moments. Danny Soders with the Sody drop came in. through, Beezer, yeah. B-Zero, Connie. It was fun. It was a good episode. It was fun. It was, It'll it was be on the page. And there was, I've, been li- I've been, like, remembering stuff slowly about yeah. it, and it's kind of laughing. Yeah. And then uh, the, the whole night was great. It was so fucking fun, dude. For the sure. goddamn comedy jam at the end was so fucking fun. That must have been a blast. Tony Hinchcliffe. What time are you guys there till? Dude, Tony Hinchcliffe. Just tearing it up. He fucking sang System of a Down. I just changed my whole tune on the guy. Really? I mean, I didn't know him at all before that, but I just, you know. He's he's a wienerish. He seemed wienerish. wienery to yeah. me. He's not. He's just a man. Not at all. He was a great dude. It's and then he's one System of a Down song, I was looking at O'Connor like, yo, is Hinchcliffe the fucking man? Soder was standing by the stage, like looking at me, like, "Yeah, see, he's a man." Yeah, damn. Why well, shocked me? My problem with not even my problem, but it was like the, the the thing I had with Hinchcliffe is I imagined him. I thought he was a young, like literally. I thought, like when I saw Rich Voss, I was like, "That's not." I thought Tony Hinchcliffe looked like exactly like a young Rich Voss. So then I saw Voss. <laughs> really? Yeah. For some reason, I thought he was like Hinchcliffe was like like a leather jacket, like tough, like tough type of dude. I don't know why. Yeah. Then I saw him. I was like, "Jesus, looks like a wiener." Yeah, that was my. That was just. That's my only opinion. It's meaningless. It's just like me confusing people. My that was the thing that happened to me too when I went to Skankfest. I kept thinking I was seeing people I knew from like having done stand up that I didn't remember. But then I would just realize like I'm just strangers. Yeah, there's so many people I saw, and I would just be like, "Oh, that happened to me. That was a rough one." Right when I got there Saturday night, a comedian came up to me that I know and I've worked with, and he was like. Hey, Shane. And I was like, hey, what's up, man? Because I thought it was all fans. Yeah. It was all fans. It's like when I got there, people were like, hey, dude, could you sign this real quick? Could you take a fucking picture? I'm like, yeah, yeah, cool. I was happy to do that. That was awesome. But then this guy came up that was a comedian and was like talking to me. He was like, anytime you're in Lancaster, let me know. Like, hit me up and we can do this fucking show together. And he was like, what's your number? Let me get your number. And I was like, I'm not just going to give my fucking number to you, dude. Just DM me. Yeah. And he was like, do you not remember (sighs) me? And I was like, what? Who like I was like oh fuck he was like we did jo-. he told me his name and I was like oh Jesus Christ dude I'm sorry yes Damn. here's my number my bad you must have lost him in the glare of the sunglasses dude you probably yeah, take your dude. sunglasses down like oh fuck dude. <clears throat> yeah it was real should have offered him a bump out of your CBD necklace and like sorry bro Just take the edge off sorry man I'm so fucked up off these edibles <laughs> the CBD edibles didn't even recognize you bro but no the whole thing was awesome everyone was there I might start starting to do that to people just on purpose just yeah. be like oh yeah. Beezer. Like, I know. <laughs> I'm not gonna give you my fucking number. Dude. Oh, it's, yeah, I remember you. What's up, dude? Oh he's yeah, like, we you, lived together for three like, years. You texted me yesterday. I'm like, oh right, right, right. Yeah, my bad, dude. You know this shit's crazy. That's bro. the best way. That's the best way to do it. Yeah. It's like, who's this? Sorry. <laughs> All right. Woo. Yeah, dude. We're, it's we're flying. Hot. I gotta blow my nose and blow. I gotta take a break and blow my nose. All right. All right. Now that we're done with the pleasantries, dude. Yeah. Let's get down to business. Let's get down. Doors cracked. It's kind of brass tacks. I need to get a Matt Lauer fucking automatic door yeah, shut yeah, on that lock thing. Lock it up. Lock you in here, dude. You can't get out. No, I'm just <laughs> stuck here listening to your theories. <laughs> but yeah, man. Dude, I, that's another thing. I was trying to talk fucking um, the new Green Deal. On yeah. The other, dude, it was just like, oh, uh, did you guys know about that? Uh, yeah. Uh, dude, I'm all, I, that's that's my only no thing I care about right now. You don't like flying? Don't, no, dude, my the new Green Deal is, I'm like, I was literally telling Spud, I was like, this is what I think we should do. And he's like, you're just describing a new Green Deal. And I was like, whoa. Yeah, just whoa. build some trains. Yeah, dude. High pressure fucking train systems. It would work, too, because it's like, oh. 
you have, say if you did stand up, it's like you just have to just book your thing around a little train schedule until yeah. people can figure out a way to do all it this stuff. It'll take seven days to get to San Francisco. Be but fun. you would hit a bunch of stops along the way. Wow. Whoa. Change the game, dude. But yeah, I was like, because I, I don't know what he, I even, why I started thinking about this. I think it's because I started doing all that research into like world population, how poor everyone is, how we're just, we're in for the fucking, we're in for it, dude. Sure. We're going to get stormed. They're going to storm the castle on us. We're going to be fucked. Who, the, who's going to storm the castle on who? Dude, the, the fucking growing. The pores. The growing body of like. The pores. Dying pores. So you think the pores, so this is Marxism now. It's not Marxism. You think the working class and the poor are going to rise up? Well, it's not Marxism if they just rise up and kill us all. It's yeah. just them being like, we're dying. We're gonna. It's a whole different thing. Well, that's kind of exactly what Karl Marx was saying. I'm not saying we should just like share all, all of our so stuff you're, with the So you're a Marxist and you no, are no, into no, the no. Green New Deal. I'm into the Green New Deal, yes. Wow. The, the, okay. The arguments against it are very weak. Against the Green New Deal? Super fucking weak. Um... When people are like, what am I going to not going to fly to on vacation to Barbados? It's like, yeah, dude, you can't. Until people come up with a way to get there. There like, was some other stuff in the Green New Deal that she was tossing in. The she stuff tossed people, in like some equality shit the about stuff women and people stuff. Don't like about, the stuff people don't like about it, yeah, they did throw in stuff like... And she was then, against cows, I think. They said, yeah. She doesn't like cows. The, yeah, because of the carbon emissions. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That stuff, I'm not really... I'm not too worried about that. But you do like shutting down it. I... Shut it all down till we get, not even that. Just do a slowly phase it. Have a ten year plan to phase it out. That's that's the other thing too. Have a plan to phase all that out. Yeah. And you have like now you have like uh, I saw a thing. It was like, fuck, who was this? It was like Chevron, Bill Gates. Apparently, I don't know what the fuck he has to do with this. And like a couple other oil companies who were like, yeah, we're gonna do this new thing now where you like shoot gas into the air and have high power with high powered fans, and that's gonna like suck the CO two out of the air. So, party on, everybody. I just I don't think. This whole thing of like, oh, we're just going to, they'll figure, they'll eventually, they'll, someone will figure out how to do I'm like, I don't think anyone knows what the fuck's going on. I think 99% of people are stupid. Yeah. 99% of people are stupid. And are just like, stupid? Kind of dumb, yeah. On right. some level, to the, are dumb to the point where they kind of don't know what they're doing with themselves. For the most part. They're hopelessly kind of just scrambling through the world. And it's more, I think what's going to happen is more or less a, just this chaotic scramble towards like everyone's going for like a certain status and it's like. No one wants to stop the shit and be like, all right, well, let's fucking, let's do a hard timeout on this whole thing. This whole thing's getting out of control. Most likely scenario that we go out in like a flash, like a fevered flash of just like some sort of hard apocalyptic event. Yeah. No one's ever going to, there's not going to be a, a time when everyone stops enough to be like, yeah, we are kind of butt fucking this whole planet around us. We have to just, let's all take a fucking like. Wow, dude. The green new mat. Green, Very dude, I've, fucking, I've been a fucking environmentalist. I've been an environmentalist forever. Ever since I ate mushrooms and I laid on a soccer field, I was like, I would fucking defend this. I was on a hill and I was like, I would, I totally understand why people would fight over fucking gr over grass. I was laying <laughs> on it like, I would kill someone for this place right now. But that was more of like a territorial thing. Yeah. I understood. I was like, dude, you got I got fired I, up. Yeah, yeah I like, laid if on a hill. Somebody walked out here, I'm going to fight him. It's, I was laying on a hill and I remember being like, dude, I could totally understand why Native Americans used to like go like shoot arrows at people and be like, get off this. I was yeah. Like, I felt that. I felt that run through me. My, and it, dude, it, my thing, the funniest part is it sounds. So ridiculous to be like, well, we can't completely devastate the whole thing that everything depends on. People are like, and it's like, dude, we're fucking. We're the only thing that's gonna rock us out of it is like a billion dead. I don't know. I we're gonna hit a billion, bro. I gotta see the science. Right now, I think it's a bunch of. I think it's a crock. I, well, a I think those people, scientists are fibbing, dude. A lot of people say that about the carbon man stuff. Man-made carbon is. I mean, it's small. Let's not let's not pretend it's not affecting it. Sure. I think humans are affecting the global, you know, climate change slightly, dude. I, I think it's take, just a natural occurrence. Me I can and Donald Trump both agree on this. I'll, the car, I'll remove carbon. My thing is School's like... School's still out, dude. The science is still out on this. No one knows. Nobody does know. The carbon is... I will say that. No I, one knows, baby. No one knows that. However... Keep it flowing. Dude. However, dude. We got a lot of natural resources in this country. <laughs> no, we need to exploit. No, I'm pro-fracking. We need way more oil. No. We need more oil. No, dude. It Why? has to stop. No. Dude, because it's like... So if you were telling me... Dude, you don't like oil? I fucking no. love oil. If you're running... But the thing is, it's like, who's going to stop driving? Not me. I'm not, I'm not even going to say that. My, If you're running pipes through the just the ground and through the ocean, they're naturally going to deteriorate and leak just like thousands of gallons of oil yeah. all over the place. And then it's like... Yeah, good, dude. You Fuck can't do the that. ocean. You ever be in the ocean? Yeah, it's awesome. No, it's scary. Dude. It's very <laughs> spooky, dude. I hope everything in there dies. Then it'll be fun. <laughs> it'll be fun. You get a little oil on you, but the ocean will be fun again. Dude, I'm a staunch. I'm, I'm a trying staunch. to make the ocean great again. 
Are big you really time. trying yeah, to kill all the sharks? Remember when you were a kid and you were fearless and you would go out and have fun in the water? True. Now that you're a grown man, you know the fucking terrors beneath. <laughs> well, I'm more scary. worried about like getting in the Gulf and be like, am I going to die in this toxic soup? Nah, who cares? I think it's good stuff in there. Yeah, get in there. Dude, swim I, around. Dude, I, I just it's it's funny though. And again, we're just a couple of schmoes, dude. But speak the, for yourself. The dude. best minds Come have on, compiled a system where it's like we just dump our trash over there. And it's just the trash. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just fucking amassing in mountains, and there's just oil bursting out into the ocean, and everyone's just kind of like, well, "What am I gonna not fucking fly to Europe, dude? What the <laughs> fuck?" It, to me, it's like, and it sounds annoying to even bring it up. I hear That's you. what I, we hit the point where it's like, I would love for just a fucking worldwide timeout where everyone's like, "All right, all right, everyone, let's chill and reassess." This is clearly kind of fucked up. Chill out. You don't have to. Doesn't have to share all your money with everybody. Yeah, but like you said, just fall back. Like you said, people are dumb, dude. Most people it's are dumb. It's going to be really hard to tell everyone to chill It's not out. even dumb. It's just self-possessed into like, like, like all right, everyone's got to stop. They're like, mm. I'm not going to stop because yeah, exactly. the I'm, other guy's not going to stop. Exactly. Yeah. It's weird, dude. It's like, a, it's like a mini nuclear arms race. And the fucking, and the Republican Party is somehow embraced because you have to pick sides on everything. Yeah. They've, I love that they've embraced fucking climate change as a hoax. <laughs> it's such a sick move, dude. <laughs> they go argue it. Well, it's, it is funny. dude brought a snowball in. You remember that? Yeah. He's, he's like, like, dude, it's fucking cold out, baby. Yo, my hands are cold as fuck on this snow, yeah, dude. Fuck that. Yeah, it's it's uh that is that is a funny that is a sick stance just to be like, nah, dude, we're fine. Nah. And dude, the the carbon stuff, I don't know about that. I just know fundamentally if you're constantly spilling oil into the ocean, it's bad. <laughs> has to be bad. It has to be bad. Nah, the ocean's big, dude. Don't has worry. To be don't bad. worry about it. Has to be bad. There's plenty of fresh water out there dude that and they're like fracking oh, don't, yeah, let, don't let them fool you about fracking fracking is great i don't want to lose our sponsor that's our best sponsor, dude you know our literally... sponsor caused like an earthquake last week did they really yeah dude how awesome are they there was an earthquake in <laughs> philadelphia <laughs> did they really yeah there's an earthquake in pennsylvania and an oil refinery <laughs> exploded in but that Philly wasn't from fracking week. was it no what was that from that's just from oil refineries blow up sometimes yeah, yeah don't worry about it yeah don't worry about it. keep it moving baby yeah, dude, there was, dude, just going to Chernobyl. There was an earthquake and a fucking oil refinery explosion, like, last week. When was and he, people I were like, nah, an, chill, it's not a big deal. I didn't realize there was the earthquake. Yeah, there was an earthquake. Dude, and that's the other thing. They'll be like, don't listen to the bullshit about fracking. They're just, and they were pumping <laughs> toxic earthquakes. chemicals. They just yeah. pump toxic chemicals to the point where it just releases pockets of air. And then it's, it's not like a sustainable thing. The air, they just leach all the air out, and they're like, all right, where next? And they're like, yeah. yeah, dude, you guys all had cancer before you came here. Don't be ridiculous. Yeah, they're like, yeah, sorry. Yeah, your water was flammable the whole time. <laughs> People's water is flammable. It's fucking ridiculous. Dude, I'm t- and it's, and it, again, it, it's, I am totally aware of when you say yeah, this how shit. How else would I fly to fucking Clusterfest, dude? They're gonna they have gotta to fig- frack, They gotta baby. figure it out. They gotta dude, frack. Otherwise, no. I can't run my hot seven in front of the execs. <laughs> <laughs> High speed rail lines. And dude, with the internet, people don't have to travel like that anymore. How else would a room you, full of people find out about that I'm bad at sex? <laughs> dude, I'm I'm all Could for just sent a picture. Dude, I'm I'm all for the G New D. Except like I said, there is a lot of uh, equity, social justice stuff thrown in there. But all of it really is is if you're like, we'll just let people do all these it'll we'll do a ton of we'll spend a ton of money on infrastructure. That's the other thing. They'll, they'll be like I was watching the Fox News clip and they're like, and they want to spend two trillion dollars on this? Like, that's a lot. It's like, dude, the GDP is like twenty four trillion. Dude, you love the GDP. I love. Now know that I know the GDP? the GDP, dude, I'm you like, you just know the number. You don't know anything about it. I know all about what it. What about the cost? Like, what about our cost? What about everything? Dude, what it, are you that's, talking about? That's where it all breaks down, and that's when you realize money's not real. Whew, whoa. That's when you go and they're like, whoa. "Where are we gonna come up with all this money?" It's like, dude, here are you, Bob Lazar. You got yeah, me bro. tripping right now. I'm fucking Travis Barker, dude. Whoa. I'm about to go on Instagram and be like, help me. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you get to the point when you're like, oh yeah, real, it doesn't matter. As long as you do food production, if you do food production <laughs> on Instagram and scream, help me. <laughs> help. <laughs> FBI raided my house again. Fucking FBI is in my shit right now because I my, figured out. Just my fracking. girlfriend going through my phone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Turns out the FBI is on me again. I sent a smiley face to the wrong person. That'll, That'll get, get you. That'll get you. I actually, dude, my, uh, I've been trying to just get my girlfriend to admit that. She'd say, she's like, I have fucked up attitude. I'm like, you're on your period. You're definitely just on your period. And she was just like. How you always say, and I'm like, dude, like, you just, why, why is that such an embarrassing thing to yeah. admit? She's know. cranky. I'm like, dude, it's, it's, I'm, I'm here. That sucks. I feel bad. I don't have that. Yeah. But if I were to be just like 
out of nowhere super cranky and so and like yeah. all of science was like yeah this this sends your hormones into fluctuation it happens to like almost all women so normal and yet none of them can admit that that's what's going on i mean i get because it's probably amplifying real life events you know yeah. what i mean so it's like it doesn't feel like it is the that. reality because it is real there's real things that are happening but what i'm trying yeah. to explain to her i'm like yes this is real however you're extremely sensitive to it right now because your hormones are going fucking wild right now yeah. due to this tri-weekly phenomena that is your period. It comes every three weeks. And, and you hate me. And you start to not You start to be very mean to me. And I, for some reason, I, you know. I tolerate it. I tolerate this. But you have to just show me you believe in this, dude. Show me you believe. I, I might be the Al Gore of periods, dude. Get a chart. I might do. I might be the Al. Bring a chart out and show her. I might be the Al. Here's how much of a cunt you were, and then and then get one of those, get a crane, a lift, and be like, now if you look, the chart goes all the way up here because of how much of a cunt you were being, because you're a pussy. Here's your baseline cuntiness. This is pretty high. Pretty high, actually. Pretty high amount of cunt, but nothing, you know, out of the ordinary. And then look at this. Look at this spike that goes up there, huh? That was a week, a week straight. Now, why do you think that was? And then look at this back down. Now you're very remorseful. Not cunty. Once the period ends, it's love time. Yeah, man. Once that period goes down, they're like, I'm sorry. I, I feel, love you. I feel so much better. I miss you. Dude, I've thought about this, and it's a it's a risky endeavor. I thought about just keeping a, like a, a separate journal. I have my own cash. You should keep log. a cycle. You should get an app for her cycle and yes. then plan to be away from her every time she's on her period. It's <laughs> like, a good move. It's not bad. I, what I want to do is do the opposite. Stay in, stay in it and journal everything and then date and time all the events. And then just be like, amass like a year's worth of data and just wait the next time she's being a crab and just be like, come here. And just bust out a dusty filing cabinet and just put it, have my basement might become like a Russ Cole lair. Get a storage yeah. unit and be like, I've been studying your period for five years now. Uh, I like here, we have like time wave zero where it's like yeah. all the fucking be like, Here's arrows. a tape. Sit down. I got to show you this. I got to <laughs> show you this. Uh, I thought about also like keeping an uh, audio recorder on. I've, dude, I'm telling you, I've, I went through this. Me and Corp would break up every period. Mm -hmm. Every once a month, we would break up. And I'd be like, after five months, I was like, what do you think this is? Yeah. But we break up every every time you have your period, we break up. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Well, what, what do you think about that? <laughs> I don't understand why it's so shameful. I don't know. Yeah. Like, if, I'm telling you, if I don't I guess get if enough... you lose your emotions, it's embarrassing. I guess like so. If you lose control of yourself. It's kind of like being drunk. Yeah. I'm, I'm, so ashamed of my behavior when I'm fucking yeah when you're blacked bombed, out. Dude. You think they're blacked out when they're on their periods? They definitely black out. <gasps> yeah, that's terrifying. Like, Fuck yeah! <laughs> I don't need your shit. I can drive. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah. I mean, this is this is a tale as old as time. I know, but, but I'm like, it's, it's, I've been going deeper and deeper, dude. I want to understand. My thing is like, it's funny that when you get older, you, like every one of these cliche things is just totally true. Yeah. Like, women on their period is a major problem. You stay away from them. It's crazy. They'll no, get you. And it is. It does sound cliche, but I'm like, it, as you get older, when, you have, when you're when you younger, you're just like, man, my girlfriend's being really difficult right now. What is this? And then as you get more time under your belt, you're just kind of like, once you really figure that out, I remember you hear about it, like, you're on your period, and you're like, <laughs> period. Yeah. You're I mean. mean. And then, like, you start living it, and you're like, oh, this is kind of unfair. This is really unfair to me. What's out oh, to you? Just to get the to have to like fully absorb <laughs> the fury of that just every nice. so many weeks. It's nice. Like, I don't. I, this is this is really difficult for you. I might be the Bob Lazar of periods. You dude. are, dude. But dude, I'm gonna. I'm. I really. I was start. I was thinking about doing like audio recordings, journal logs, and being like, no, this is how. Remember, did you ever do that where you're like, yeah, but it's like the way you said it to me, and they're like. It's, these are the words. This is what I said. I'm like, no, this is the tone you use. Yeah. -uh, I said it like, and then they replay it and they're like, can, I was just like, hey, can you come down real quick? And they're like, no, you were like, get down here right now. Yeah, get down here <laughs> now, Matthew. Yeah. Matthew. She's like, no, I was like, hey, do you think you could like hey, come babe, down and help could you me? come down here? I'm like, that's what you think you sound like. <laughs> so like, I've thought about busting out there, just hot mic yeah. 24 seven. I get the impression back to me of me. Like, I'll say something oh, like a dickhead God, where I'm dude. joking. I'm clearly joking being a dickhead. Yeah. And it's like, why would you fucking say that? <laughs> <laughs> There's one that I got fucking drilled for. Ah, I shouldn't I shouldn't be on the air right now. Really? You got drilled for something? 
Yeah, it was some. I, shit. I don't want to. I don't want to put you in. A, uh, I'm trying to put you in a pickle. Trying to think if this would kill me or not. But uh, well, if you think about it, it doesn't whatever. Even matter. It was something that a girlfriend of mine was into, and yeah. I ended up jokingly saying that it was Native American gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. clearly joking. Yeah, I wouldn't actually demean someone like that. Who your girlfriend or Native Americans? Both. Like, I love the savages. <laughs> I love both those savages. <laughs> but, but it was like. She was like, and you called it Native American gibberish, and I had something I care. I was like, I'm just fucking around. I wasn't serious. Yeah, you, yeah, you weren't like getting your John Smith on, being like, that's Native American yeah, I wasn't gibberish. Like, you need to quit all this bullshit. This Native American gibberish. I called it Native. <laughs> I called it like yoga Native American gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's actually funny. My bae hates yoga. Your bae hates we're, yoga. We're opposite. Yeah, our our I dynamics. Like, I like yoga. I love it too. I appreciate it. I know, yeah, I know you do. You do it's yoga fucking too. nice, dude. Fat guy yoga is it's the shit. It's still funny to call it fucking Native American gibberish. Dude, <laughs> we're, we're talking about like bad energy. You need to release all the bad energy that's floating around. It's out there. Like, that's ridiculous. Bad energy. Shut up about bad energy. You don't believe in juju? I don't believe in juju. What do you think it is? You can. You don't believe in psychic phenomena? Not that much. But. Not like psychic, like tarot readers. I'm talking about the fact that you're constructing like a, a completely psychic experience. That's not what I'm talking about. You're, so what are you talking about? I'm talking about... Clairvoyance? Bad energy. What's, what do you mean? Like, if I stretch hard enough, bad energy <laughs> is going to go away. You don't think the body keeps the score and holds the fucking the trauma inside you? You don't think your hips store your stress? No, I'm dude, this, I've been to yoga classes. This is what I've been through, dude. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Why? <laughs> it's exactly the fight we got in. Is it really? Yes. How did I guess that? I swear to God. I didn't I, tell you? No. Oh, thank God. I thought like, you get in trouble. You know, don't you dare try to silence me, I dude. Just shut the fuck up, dude. No, you're getting me in trouble. That's when I do when I would do the, the pigeon pose, they were, I remember being there'd be like a lot of your bad like a lot of your stress. Yeah, well, they were, that's stored exactly in your hips. the fight. And this I was is like exactly I remember being like, Really? And I remember like thinking like I guess I am feeling kind of emotional right now. And it was just like Stre like stress and trauma stored in your hips. Yeah. And I was like Dude, I swear to God I just came I was up with like, that. You could I was like, I don't think it's trauma is not stored in your hips. That's what you think. <laughs> yeah, that is what I'm I think. Listening That's why right I said now. It. I'm listening to the book, Body Keeps a Score. But there's not to say that, like, stress can, you know, muscle tension and shit like that can easily be stored in your hips yeah. from stress. Sure. From very reasonable, like, you can explain what that is. It's not just bad energy floating in the air. Like, bad energy. And I was like, if you want to call it bad energy instead of, like, stress, sure. we could do that. It's the same thing. Stress is a real thing that causes health issues. What if, as an animal, when you're in a bad mood, you put off pheromones that other people detect as bad energy? Well, then that's exactly what it is. It's pheromones. It's not, so you don't believe in the bad energy? Well, then it's pheromones. It's Got not you. bad energy. Got you. But I understand the terminology. We can call it that, sure. but that's why it's Native American gibberish. Because <laughs> you're using spirituality instead of science on that. Damn. That's pretty tight. So you're, you're, you're a rugged materialist. Well... I don't. I mean, sure. I don't. I don't know what a rugged materialist is, <laughs> but when it like, I'll, that's all I was saying. And I get it. Like, if you stretch your hips, you'll feel better. Sure. That's all. You never got. It's deep, great. You never got deep into pigeon and got like kind of misty eyed. Bro, I got fucking that lizard stretch where you put your fucking elbows down, <laughs> put your leg the whole way up. Oh, I feel good. I'm like, I miss my dad. <laughs> I, I need to call him. Yeah, man. That's too funny. But yeah. I, I, dude, I, I, that was, uh, that was the first thing I thought about. What are you worried about? <laughs> this whole fucking gas. Why? You got a Kenworth kid breathing down there. Got a Corb dog going to be fired up. This is going to be a rough one. That's, that's, a, that's a fair argument to have, though, that you don't believe in that. Yeah, but, the, like, I was like, it just started from me being like, yeah, I don't know if that's true. Yeah. And that was a fight. And then in that fight, I thought we were still kidding around. And that's when I was like, this is all fucking gibberish. <laughs> like, damn. Yeah. That's like, you know, people are trying to fill the religious void. So you just, you God blocked her. Yeah. I mean, but she's right on a lot of levels of that. Like yoga is great. It is good. Do it. It feels good. Yeah. It makes you feel better. Relieves a lot of stress. Dude, when I, when I would do yoga for big guys out in the living room. Whew. Never cry? No, I'd never cry. Yeah. You didn't get deep enough. Never cry. You didn't get deep enough. Well, yoga for big guys is pretty... It's pretty basic. A lot of farts, dude. <laughs> a lot of farts. It's mostly farts, dude. It's like bend over and let that fart out. I know you have one. Guaranteed fart? I farted in exercise class yesterday. It stunk, dude. 
I was just, you know, when you let out like little, like a bubble at a time. Yeah. You like let out one fart into eight bubbles, dude. I was like, <laughs> I was rationing bubbles. I would just be doing the battle ropes, and I'd be like, I just be here a switch with a person. I'd be over there doing high knees and be like, let out like one bubble. I'm yeah. like, no way, one bubble is gonna smell my whole corner. I was like, oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ, bro, dude. <laughs> bro, I destroyed the plane on the way to San Francisco <gasps> no. that morning because I was drinking all night. Oh, dude, I woke up like three hours of sleep, having just drank all night. Oh, just farted the whole fucking six hour flight. Oh, you had a, you hit the plane. I with- was like, dude. Because on a flight, you can sneak farts easy. Oh, dude, you no, let them, I, I mean, let them go. They could look at me and tell where the stench was coming True. from. But you're suspect <laughs> number one, dude. I'm a fucking clear target for farts. <laughs> dude, I get more. I understand, like, when Muslims or, like, Sikhs try to get on a plane and people are like, oh, just keeping an eye on you. I get you the think same it's look. Farts? I get the look for farts. They get it for terrorism. I feel like for. I, <laughs> if somebody sees me walking down the aisle, they're like, I'm going to keep an eye on that guy the whole flight. He's going to be farting the whole time. Well, to avoid fart detection, yeah, being. If you're like a big dog, top. You're, but if you have like messy hair, then people are also. If you if you mm-hmm. have a, a flight with bedhead, you're prime suspect of a fart. So if you if you hit in a suit, slick back your hair, you can literally audibly fart, and people are like, wasn't him? No way, it was him. No way, he's dude. too professional. <laughs> the guy's too professional, dude. I was farting. <laughs> I, at one point, I farted and blamed mentally blamed someone else. I was like, it fucking stinks in here. It's probably that lady. <laughs> <laughs> it was me. I was farting the entire flight. <laughs> I might start a LinkedIn profile that's just me giving like fashion tips on like how to fly. <laughs> Skate fart. <laughs> no. Fart guilt. It's just no, it's not even that. It's just me giving like fashion tips and just like in the meanwhile just farting on like, unacknowledged like, farting in the background <laughs> like, real loud. <laughs> <laughs> dude, doing YouTube of just like you're doing serious lectures, doing a tutorial, and, uh, dude, a whole it's farting the whole, a time. whole subcategory of unacknowledged farts might be the funniest. <laughs> you unacknowledged fart a lot, dude. That's a crazy dude. Unacknowledged farts are so crazy to me, dude. There's a few of our friends that'll f- look you in the eyes and fart. <laughs> it's fucking nuts. <laughs> Well, sometimes I get caught up in the moment. I'm like, again, like I get in the bubble system where I'm like, I'm just, let, I have a, dude, I just let out a bub. I spoke of a bub and it came out of me, dude. You let out a bubble and you're like, there's no way. So I'm going, dude, did you fucking fart? And then I immediately try to lie, but then I start laughing. In the I, middle of a conversation. Because I farted and the fact that you smelled it makes me laugh it's so, so hard. It's that so I'm just like, funny. oh, yes. <laughs> Pretty much every comedy show. I think I farted at Skankfest, maybe? Nice. Did you catch any waves? This guy, someone came out to me. He was like, "Oh, dude, what is that?" I was like, "Dude, dude, dude that whole building was farts." That whole I, I let was... out a nice one when I was sitting there waiting. <laughs> oh no, when we were about to go down. I farted in the kitchen. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that. I definitely farted real hard in the kitchen. You're like, "Dude, did you fart?" I was like, "I don't know what the fuck that is." Damn. Yeah, I might. I was hammered. Yeah, yeah. You were drinking all day. I like don't remember much of that cast. Yeah, I, I, I was a little bit. I was a little flimsy on it too. But dude, this so this is what whatever you're talking about reminded me of. Uh, we were talking about psychic phenomena. I was talking. I don't, no one was really on board with this in class, but I was basically saying how we got out of. Uh, fuck. What was? Oh, so it was like they were talking about how like battling, the battling groups of like the different political views and how, it's like you'll have someone who thinks they're well intentioned, but all they're doing is just attacking, like in the case of like a, a super lib attacking like a trump supporter yeah and being justified being like he's a racist homophobic piece of shit and honestly he deserves my full my full fury and my whole point was like dude unless you're you can attack but unless you're under the umbrella of just like we're all fucking you know it's like i'm gonna break down why i don't th- i think yourself's bullshit but i'm not gonna attack your personal character I'm, you know i'm gonna try not to as hard as i can rather than being like you're a fucking piece of shit fuck you i hate you yeah. Yeah. it's like i don't and the, to be morally just we've talked about this a hundred times but my thing, what I was telling the teach, which, you know, I, I was waiting for a super high five or something, dude. Never yeah. came. It's basically that we are now, so we, our parents were raised by people in the Great Depression for the most part. Or you're an immigrant and your parents came from like, you know, just what, like some of Just the country. regular depression yeah, the, the that they were always the having. Yeah. <laughs> so either way, we're, for, for the most part, one most people are one or two generations away from people who like ate shit during the Great Depression. So they raised your parents who were just kind of like, you know, if they get a job, they're just like, I'm doing it. I don't know what your problem is. We're more or less, and there's, you know, if you're like been like a Vanderbilt, you've obviously been dealing with this for a while, but there's a lot of people entering the realm of just like pure psychic competition to where it's like material needs are met, will be met forever for the most part. 
and you were just battling on some weird like Star Wars Jedi shit where it's like their only consequence is this perceived like importance. If you know if that's you know if you know what I mean. I totally understand. And there's more and more people now entering that race to where like you watch like uh, what the everyone's fuck's... in the race. Everyone's in that especially now. the younger generation of us. Like, yes. Younger than us is fucking nuts. It's the the generation of just pure Instagram it's, and it's, pure social media importance. Yes, it's, is wild. Ego. It's pure ego battle. So now we even we're now in a limitless ego battle that's more or less based on like nothing that tangible, but it does have serious effects on people's biochemistry. So that phrase like "get under your skin" it's like we're out here waging war to like not be super depressed and anxious. Yeah, and only like you know, but even like if the people who apparently when a lot of times are super depressed and anxious. Yeah. And that's that's what this that's what I was trying to explain. Though. Our whole th- pre- thing is predicated on just like a weird psychic ego battle we're all having that's just ramping up more and more and more. At the same time, it's like we're fucking up. We're, we're kicking up dust everywhere. Yeah. And I was like, dude, it's not looking good. I, I think we are. Like, it's, it makes more sense to me that we were just slowly. I think we're, we're going for a, uh, a hard extinction. I think that's inevitable. It might. I'll scale back on 150 years, but like, that's the biggest. That's like the biggest uh, wool over all of our eyes. That like, no, we're gonna like save the tree otter and like do this. Like, dude, we're fucking. Dude, next. the tree otter is dead. All the animals around us are going extinct, and it's not typically our fault. A ton of like species have gone extinct from the time we've been here, but it's like, dude, it's there's clearly like the boardwalk like you ever see that coin game where it just pushes quarters over the edge <laughs> yeah, yeah we're yeah. sitting here like yeah dude and like we're getting closer and it's going to push us off yeah but it's i think that's something as like natural as accepting as death is like the, the extinction of your entire species wrap your head around that Whoa. one man. wrap your head around that one yeah if people have people can't get over themselves not existing it's like bro i hate to break it to you we're yeah. all toast none of this is gonna exist we're all toast dude except for the cast the cast will live on. The cast lives on forever. This is technology, so that it'll be. This will be. I mean, dude, there's, there's how be, awesome there's is God? Some aliens how awesome is God that this cast will live on? It's because our be, dude, our God is an awesome God. Yeah, how cool is the prophet? God, dude. The prophet <laughs> and Allah, dude. The prophet is going to make sure that this lives on for sure. So some fucking chill ass aliens are probably listening to this right now. Yeah, dude. Think about that. Do you ever get that when you're just aliens like driving? Are definitely listening to this right now. Oh, dude, just no, like, whoa, no, dude, this fucking, is so funny. <laughs> oh, dude. That was like funny yet deep, sweet. Whoa. I Dude. didn't know humans could be this fucking chill, bro. <laughs> Pass me that CBD that fuels our spaceship. Infinite CBD. Fuels ships. Yeah, dude. That's what Rob Bob Lazar was looking for. Th- Couldn't that's, figure out the anti-gravity. That's element 115? Element 115 is just sick-ass CBD that makes you fucking <laughs> float. If you put it in the ship, the ship's like, I'm not fucking attached to anything. Not even gravity. Did you ever get that when you're driving and you just all of a sudden just go like, oh, Jesus Christ. Like, you get hit with, like, the complete totality of your existence and how weird it is that you can, like, think and talk, and there's been all this stuff that happened before you, and you just go, like, oh, God. Yeah, I've, I mean, I've had those thoughts, yeah. Did you ever like, get the full fucking, Never like, made me jump. I've gotten it before where I get, like, legitimately free. I feel like I'm, like... There's definitely been times I've had to snap myself out of it. Like, while I'm thinking about it, just be like, all right, Jesus Christ. <laughs> exactly, dude. <laughs> yeah, like, I'll be dry. I'll just be driving by myself in the car, and I'll just be like, fuck <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's what I'm talking about. You're driving. You're just like you start being like, wait a second. I can. Th- you're like I can think, and you're like, what the fuck yeah, am dude. I thinking about? And you're I like, think, therefore I am, dude. And you're like, oh god, I've done it yeah. before. Where I've gotten myself like to the edge of a panic attack between like intermittent thoughts of outer space and thinking. I'm just like, oh. yeah, I get high and think of that stuff. True. That's why I don't like getting high. Really? Yeah, I love, dude. I stay. I can get high and think about dying. And, like, what that's going to be like. And yeah, then when dude. I'm high enough, I can, like, fully realize it. Oh, yeah. It's not good. When you die? Yeah. It's yeah. easy. It's just what it was like before you were born. Well. It's like everything's going to be going on and you're just not there. I don't know. You, know, you never know. Mm. You don't. I think I do. You know, dude. I think I do. What do you, so what do you I think, think it is? I think it's exactly like before I was born. Not bad. Yeah, I didn't know. Exactly. There was no I, bro. There's nothing, dude. I don't know. I'm not too. Whoa. I mean, I definitely be dying would suck. I just I don't I don't I don't, wor- I don't worry about it that much. I just don't. Uh, my thing is like I'll tell you when you really worry about that is what? flying. Oh yeah. Just I I always also because there's so much fucking turbulence on that flight that cross country <laughs> so flight. So much. I'm farting. Turbulence is going nuts. <laughs> the lady next to me was horrified of flying. So anytime we hit turbulence, she was like panicking, which that sucks. That sucks to see someone Did like you like. I looked at her like, you're all right. Like, relax. What'd she say? 
she was all right. She was foreign. I was trying to fucking explain to her, like, it's fine. Yeah, you're fine. Everything's okay. Um, but yeah, the whole time, every time I'm flying, I'm just like, well, if I die, I just need to accept it. Yeah. Like, it's okay. If I yeah. die, it'll be quick, especially on a fucking plane. But the however long it takes to scream the whole way down, oh. like all those people on there fucking screaming, yeah. that would suck. So That's the worst. I don't want to hear that. I don't want the pandemonium before I die. True. You'd like to just, just go out. panic of like women and screaming. Yeah. yeah. I, w- I worry more about that stretched out over the course of like two decades of just someone being in their life and being like, ah! <laughs> just two decades of quietly screaming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. That happens. Yeah, man. I would love to have a nice, hard midlife crisis. Uh, you might be. I would I mean, I think I I had a quarter, I had a nice quarter you life. You could be having like a subtle one right no, now. I don't, I'm telling you, I don't think I am. Maybe. I could, I've, I go back and forth whether or not I'm becoming like completely self aware, just totally losing my mind. But I I've think that takes some self awareness. I've racked up a hard fucking quarter life, which is nice. When was that? Like about like 24, 25. Okay. That, that's like, that what was happened like, there? Got married. <laughs> Freaked out and got married, dude. <laughs> I remember being like, that way I can get married and like I can just like do stuff like stand up and I can put all my energy on stand up and like, you know, that'll solve the whole like romantic aspect of my life. I'll just have a wife and like that'll be just one fixed easy thing. Dude. Did, did I not know I was entering into the fucking world of smoke and mirrors, dude? Whoa. I entered into that being like, I was when I was little, I thought like, I, re- I remember distinctly being really little. I'm like, damn, dude, when I'm married, I can have sex whenever I want. That's fucking awesome. And then like, I was like, well, that's not true. That's stupid. But once you get married, though, that does like settle the whole issue of like your dealings with women and like, you know, just someone you see every day and you're like, what up? Yeah. Dude, that was my quarter life crisis. I hit that and then it was just like. It is funny when you're younger to be like, yes, do you get to have sex all the time? Then it's like, oh, you gonna fuck the same person and the same bad sex. I used all to think the time? about my dad. I'm like, dude, my dad can have sex whenever he wants. That's fucking boss. Oh, nice. You used to think about your dad <laughs> nothing. I was like, dude, that's out sick, of jealousy. <laughs> I, think the, I was just happy for him. I'm like, yeah. dude, how cool is it that my dad just gets to have sex like whenever he wants? And then like all like anyone like a any dad at a basketball game. I'm like, damn, dude. He used to fuck her. I'm like, sick. damn, he gets to have sex whenever he wants. It's fucking awesome, dude. I think I literally thought it was like you just kind of like. Walked in, you're like, excuse me. <laughs> Time <laughs> yeah, of sex. Yeah. I mean, back in the day, it was, but. Or if you're running like a Nexium sex cult. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, dude. That must have been crazy back in the 1500s when it was just dudes. Like, be like, we have to have sex now. And all they knew was just like, sniz being like, fucking Christ. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Every fucking sniz I've been with has been like, Jesus. You think Christ, that's what it is? Fine. It's agitating your royal blood? Yeah. When they're not, you're like, huh? How dare you question me? <laughs> Receive me <laughs> and enjoy it. I know it was. It was a. It, that's a, now that my royal a, blood. And, like, there's a part of me that like I want to make sure she does not orgasm. That was a sick. I'm the, I am the one who. It's about you. Yeah. This is about me feeling good. Sure. And then be gone. Be gone. Here's a rag. Be gone now. <laughs> Leave me. That was a sick sigh out back when they convinced people like if women like, enjoy sex, something's wrong with them. That's the it's fucking, a good move. That's a sick move. I think it's true. You think so? <laughs> I think it's still true, dude. I have like to hold on to that theory. If women like sex, I'm like, ew. Ew, what's wrong with you? Ew, you should hate this. Really? Yeah, dude. That's yeah, that's true. It's very pure. That's a very pure view, uh, viewpoint. Yeah, dude. I'm very Catholic. That's good, dude. Come on, man. Just big shh, shh. Sh- sh- you're me. distracting me. You're distracting me from my mission. You're distracting me to create my boy. To create a son, dude. With your convulsions. I create a son. Be still. <laughs> All right, what are we doing here? We're talking, Where are we dude. At? Where We're are we talking, at? dude. We're at an hour. We're at an hour. Can't cut it loose just yet. Yeah, no, we can't, man. We just can't, dude. Yeah, I, I really, I just want to talk about all the stuff I couldn't talk about in uh. All right, get to it. Skank festing, but it actually do- stuff tails uh, perfectly into what I wanted to get into next. What is that? Remember when I started talking about the where like romantic love came from? No, there's. The, there, I'm reading a book right now. There's. The I don't remember the podcast. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> remember us talking about the uh, how it came from. Like, it basically came from like a, it was like a religious. So in like the, I think it was like 12th, 13th century, they started doing a thing where like you could experience ecstasy, like religious purity through another through a woman. Like yeah. a man. It was like all the chivalry and knighthood, where you just pick a woman, you never. Oh, touched I remember her. this. Yeah. Yeah, you never touch her, and you would just be like. 
thou is my queen, dude. And you would just ride in this woman's purity. It would be like your boy's wife, basically. Yeah. And you would just be like, she's so pure and fucking beautiful of heart. And you would just ride and like carry her banner. But they were saying that kind of created the whole weird illusion of like romantic love and how it's something that's only like, it's not that old. Like, no, they'd be like, I, but they're the one I love. It's like people always viewed that as like a weird fleeting thing. And now like people build their whole lives upon like, I'm going to find the one I love. Like, to think you're going to find a person who is like your ideal sex partner, ideal person that you're going to be able to raise kids with, ideal friend. It's fuck. It's like kind of plain scratch off tickets. It's I would say it's I think we're dealing with those odds and no one wants to talk about that. Yeah. Of being like, I'm going to find the person who I get along with on like I can have conversations with who I could co-parent with smooth, smooth enough to yeah. the point where we don't hate each other. Meanwhile, keeping like a, a dynamic, fulfilling sex life. Well, that's some the dynamic, fulfilling sex life is the thing that's not going to be. So there. that goes. That's out. Yeah. That's something I think we need to come to terms with. Does, I don't understand. That's what the weird thing is that everybody's on this kick recently. What? In my opinion, has been more like, we need to fi- find someone who you fuck, and it's so sick when you guys fuck. Yeah, it's like, that's dude, like the worst. You need to find someone that you can fucking tolerate and raise a family with. Yeah. And raise good kids with. Dude, I explained this to my bae recently. I'm like, dude, it's like really sad. When I got married and realized I wasn't going to have sex with anyone else, I was like legitimately mourning that. And I was ups- I was like deeply upset. Well, like, go fuck someone. She was like, that's... Well, no, she was like... Sneak off, dude. She was like, that's that's fucked up. And I'm like, it's just not, dude. It's not fucked up. Like a part, It feels like a part of you just literally dies. When you're like, all right, I'm just going to wow. have sex with you forever. I explained this to her and she was like... I did, dude. I've been just like, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> she Cyrax smoked, dude. She's like, Ant. she glitched out. But yeah, I, I like. I don't know why people don't. I mean, again, I obviously know why because I don't. I think open relationships are weird, but I feel like people should just be like, there should just be Tinder just for just like. I think people should separate it where it's like, all right, let's we're teamed up as a kid partner, like we're gonna have kids together and be cool. That's, uh, that's impossible. I know, but it's like I feel like that's how it, that people should do. Would that. you allow that? I might, dude. I'm really. Would you allow her, your girl to go get fucked by someone? Here's the thing. I don't know. I mean, this you is, would not. This is something I've been kicking around. Unless I, no, you're a cuck, dude. I don't think so. But you are Green New Deal. You are very fucking environmentalist, no, cuck, dude. Matt. Polyamorous, environmentalist, no, 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 no. I don't, cuck, I don't think Matt. I can handle polyamory, but here's what something. What the fuck is going on, I don't dude? I can handle polyamory. Here's something I do enjoy, is that women can't really cuck you, like ultimately cuck you anymore into like raising someone else's child. With Ancestry.com, that day is over. <laughs> so it's like... You you can't you now <laughs> ancestry.com. Ne- thanks to our sponsor, ancestry.com. <laughs> yeah. No more getting cucked. You can't dude. get cucked. If your son's not fucking Eastern Mediterranean or whatever the fuck you are, you you, you dude, better they, find out if you're getting cucked. They can't cuck you anymore. Yeah. Is your son also a gall? Well they no, they tell you they an ancestry is like highly likely that you're the parent when you do it. Like when I when you match the other people who have done it, it's like highly likely. So like they they'll spill the tea. If you get cucked, they're like <laughs> Cucked, hundred yeah, percent. Bro, 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 bro. <laughs> Instead of highly like, it's like, just like have, oh, yeah, they're yeah. like sending you an email like your results are in. Are you sure you want them? Yeah. But my, my thing is like, dude, the babies have to know that <laughs> your results are in, bro, bro, <laughs> bro. Chill, 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 chill. My thing is they have to. You're know. gonna be pissed, bro. So if they, it has to be in their head if they're just running and gunning on you, right? Mm-hmm. It's like now through like for ninety nine bucks. Just get an ancestry dot com hat. <laughs> or share it and just wear it out every time you hang out with her just be like well i'm just big into this I just, i'm gonna get you in on this i like genealogy yeah dude but my thing is is like dude everybody that's into genealogy is a fr- the ultimate cuck fear i mean that's that's where the fear of cucking i think really comes i mean obviously if someone fucking deep dicks your girlfriend that sucks i think the real <laughs> like anger inducing fear is the fact that, like you might have to raise someone else's kid and then break it to that kid like when they're nine be like yo I fucking love you so much, but I just through Ancestry.com. It turns out your mom cucked us, dude. Cuck, cucked Damn. both of us. If you're born in a cuck, you're automatically a cuck. The boy, the kid is a cuck. Yeah, if, you, if you're if you born into a to a cuck dad, or you can go one or two ways. You either fight your dad then and there and rise up you out of it. You have to cuck him. But if you mourn the cuck with your dad, it's like you've you basically just kind of like, you know. Damn, that'd least. be sick if you got Ancestry and your hot-ass daughter turns out to not be yours. Whoa, then you cuck the mom. Whoa. Now you cuck the mom and that dad. You're talking about revenge porn, bro. Now we're talking reverse cuck, dude. You're That's the about... only way you can break that cuck Whoa, cycle. Hold on. So if you... you get cucked, you got to fuck your hot kid. Okay. So in front not... of the mom. So, but then the kid would probably. Well, how old? What are we talking now? We're talking like twenty year old. Whenever the news is broken. <laughs> no, <dude, no. laughs> Whatever age that kid is. <laughs> we're not going back down this rabbit hole, Matt. 
It's no. just what has to be done. What happens is you find out when she's like, you know, if she's 17, you say, look, here's the deal. We're going to wait till I'm going to give you 19 just to kick this around. No, 18. Your mom cucked us. Having a cuck daughter. Would you rather have a cuck son or a cuck daughter? Cuck daughter, especially if she's hot. You'd be like, I knew those feelings were natural. <laughs> 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 so you have a cuck daughter, but then you but would you? Whoa, dude, you got to hold off. You're right, though. You got to wait until she's 18. For the sure. whole time. And she's sure. like a little kid bouncing on your lap. You make some eye contact. So with you're going to hold the dossier. I'm going to know the dos for 18 years. You're talking years. about grooming, bro. Dude, I'm going to groom this fucking hot ass kid. You're talking Woody Allen. Yes. Woody Allen did this. Woody Allen did this, except he, this wasn't a full cuck. This is just him grooming. Yes. I will, if, hypothetically, if I got cucked and the news, if I got the dossier <clears throat> from Ancestry. Yeah. And it was like, that's not your kid, bro. It's like, sorry, bro, but you've been Sincerely. cucked. <laughs> yeah, you've been cucked. It's like this weird little <clears throat> clip art of like a steaming beaker, and it's like, sorry, but you've been cucked. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, and then presumably my wife would be like, oh, did you ever get to the results to that thing that we said? I'd be like, no, never saw it. Weird. Hmm. She probably wouldn't be hounding you and for then, it. She wouldn't yeah, she'd double be like, it back oh, How about that? Oh, that's weird. Let's, that stuff's you stupid know. anyway. I don't want the government hounding I got this DNA. little daughter on my lap bouncing up. No, this isn't my kid. I'm just staring at that wife of mine, just like, hmm, what do you think of this? Wow. And then just slowly groom it. Just, you know, the hugs get a little tighter. So you get older. What? <laughs> <laughs> My thing, what I would do, and then, I would take a step back. At the 18th birthday party. You'd pop out of the cake. I'm coming her. out of the cake. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, you'd have to be telling her this. You'd have to be giving her breadcrumbs the whole time. Like, look, your mom cucked us. No, I would just work real hard on my like physique. I'd like make sure she was always fucking seeing me as like hot. Yo. I'd be like, oh, my bad. I didn't mean to I, I didn't mean to leave this door unlocked. Seventeen. Just my hog. <laughs> dude, full hog. You gotta get off Pornhub, dude. I get her into porn of guys that looked exactly like me. Oh my god. I'd be like, yo, what do you think of Tony Soprano porn? <laughs> <laughs> no, you, what you'd have to do is start the PSYOP early, like 17th birthday, get her a nicer car than your wife. Buy her like the newer model. Start treating her right. Start like just spoiling get her jewelry. Start spoiling her. Yeah, like buy her like, like nicer you know shit. I thought about it. I will get you that boob job. I know you're my daughter and that's kind of weird. <laughs> but I thought about it. Yeah, you deserve it. Fuck it. Damn. Women are dude. allowed to have fun. Tiffany's just constantly be getting her newer. And, oh my God. I would actually sire. So if I got cucked and I knew it, I would be like, everything's cool. Wait till I sired a son. And then have and be like, yo, bro. You, you got a mission. You, yo, these, you're fucking. This is this all bets are off, dude. Wait, you would have to cuck your wife and create an outside son, bring him in, Whoa. like an assassin, dude. Fuck, dude, and just train him, just Manchurian candidate, and be like, show him, like, yo, isn't your fucking stepsister hot as fuck, dude? Mm-hmm. Don't <laughs> you, even tell him. You have, have, have two families, and then just match make them secret families. Train that kid to be the hottest kid ever. Yeah, Take him tanning, to. like literally, be like a hardcore dad. Oh, a, pa- about, I'd be like, a pageant dad. Be like a full pageant dad. Make him go to the gym and only do abs and curls. Oh my god! Make him fucking the hottest dude ever, and then and I can release introduce him as an outsider. Yep. Be like, hey, this is some kid I took in. We're gonna bring him in. Just have him already. He has bad. Just boy make him cred. go to the same school. He's bad. He has bad Secretly boy cred. Make him go to the same school. Damn, mm-hmm. dude. And then create another child out of that. And then kill it in front of your wife. Yes. <laughs> Create your the cuck daughter and your assassin son. And then murder and then all three of them. And bring the baby to the wife and be like, look at this baby. Do you know who this is? And, bring and out then the squeeze ancest- its head. Bring out the ancestry of everyone and then just kill everyone and kill yourself. Definitely don't kill yourself, dude. Okay, yeah, you, Take off. True. Be like, go on the lamb. Dude. Kill everyone. <laughs> Not even like, like in a really tasteful Shakespearean fashion. How poison you kill everyone? Poison the whole family. Yeah. And then just like flee on a horse. Well, poison everyone and then have a presentation. Like take them to an Applebee's yeah. or like a banquet room at like an Olive Garden. Poison everybody's fucking drink. Oh, then hit them with the drink. Then bring out a fucking slide, a slideshow <laughs> the of what you did. <laughs> and then be like, oh, also the last slide be like, you guys have about 30 seconds to live. I just poisoned all you at the beginning of this presentation. Thank you. I was all of your dads except yours, my hot daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gone. Damn. Or you could kill yourself first. And then leave. Knowing no. that you poisoned all of them. No, and no. just be did. like, hey, everyone, watch this crazy shit and blow your own fucking head off. And then they have to watch the video. And then watch the video. No, I would do the first scenario. Bring them all to like Bennigan's, rent out a back room, tell them they've been poisoned, let them slump over, ride a horse to like another city and just get right back on Tinder. And just be like, <laughs> eh, you know, <laughs> just be a go on and be like, that's weird. I have a big family too. That's weird. I used to have a family, yeah. 
Yeah, big fan. And just erase all. They chicks investigate the fuck out of you. Really? Facebook is their version of Ancestry.com. Yeah, I mean, I they I, can go deep on you. Do they do yeah. a deep dive on everyone? They you go better on not. If you're a guy, you don't want to deep dive your your baby's Instagram or Facebook. You don't want to go in that. Yeah, dude. You, you see, you gonna see some shit that you don't want to see. You oh, know what dude, I mean, for sure. Come on. You ever go? You yeah. You can't. You can't deep dive on the baby's phone, don't dude. Deep dive a baby's phone. You're you're definitely gonna be mad. Yeah. I would say you're gonna be. There's angry. no chance. You're, there's no way you're not gonna be mad. I know. I mean, there's yeah. just a world of dudes trying to fuck. There's a world of dudes DMing your baby. Yeah. Fuck. The fact that they don't just, like, instantly cuck you is kind of like... <laughs> if I was getting, like, sexual... The same amount of sexual pressure, I would... I could say for sure I would cave. Like, if I had chicks fucking constantly pressuring me to fuck me, they'd get me. They'd catch me in a moment of... Like, I would get... Like, think about every time you make your girlfriend mad, some dude just like, blink, wanna fuck? Blink, wanna fuck? So it's like... Yeah, dude. If you if you make them mad, bro, they're fucking. They're gonna get you. Yeah. Dude. So it's like it's tough. Ever get in a fight and you're just like, she's definitely gonna go fuck someone right now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, bad feeling. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a bad yeah. feeling. <laughs> yeah. It's a bad feeling when you're yeah. like, uh, you have to go apologize and you don't mean like, it. Could you just... please not fuck someone, please, right now? My Sorry. thing is, my thing is just gonna be that kid's gonna come out. I'm gonna once that that first puke, I'm gonna catch it in a little thing and just be like, mm-hmm. And so, Ancestry, please tell me if I've been cocked. Highly likely. What if you haven't been cocked? What if this is the one? Like, what if she's been fucking someone else, but you haven't been cocked? No harm, no foul. That's what I'm trying to say. So it, women can cheat on you, just not get pregnant. I think. Yeah, I, see, think this that, is, I think that takes away a lot. Disagree. Of, but I'm talking about no, no. You see, you're disagreeing with me now. I'm talking about like 20 years into a relationship. That's when it's like when it. You should ride it out as hard as you can, but like. Just accept the wheels are going to fall off, and instead of trying to salvage this impossible fucking thing, it's that's not like, impossible. What? Staying with someone. Yeah, but not having like just like just prostate cancering out of like into like just a cumless existence. So what? I mean, your sex drive dies off. That's not get, bad. Get over the coming, dude. You need to fucking. Become, I'm over it, dude. I'm I over thought it, you'd dude. be on a higher realm than this. I am on a higher realm than because you're all you're all come talk right now. I don't like it. I'm not worried about coming that hard. I'm talking about more of like, are you going to be friends with this person? You're going to start hating them, or like, can't you? It's not even just like being able to come. What's up, Bukanis? Not to be able to come all the time, but like you got to crack a good one off at least once a year, bro. Give yourself that. All right. What are you doing, dude? The fucking <laughs> robber back. He's back, dude. He's breaking into this room. O'Connie's is in the building. Connie's, pull up a mic, dude. I would love to have you on this. Huh? Yeah, O'Connie's. Get up. Let's pause. Yeah. Let's pause. Wait, hold on. Yo, you hold on. Miles, it. We oh. back. <laughs> yeah, you look great. O'Connie's in the motherfucking <laughs> studio, dude. Motherfucking Chris yeah, O'Contacts, dude. Christopher. Oh. Christopher has got a fucked up mouth, dude. Christopher. <laughs> He's got a bunch of cavities filled. My mouth is a mess. How many calves do you have? <laughs> Eight uh, I, I, I did. This is my second trip. I got the whole right side. This today was the left side of my mouth. I had like, I had, I think five or six. When was the last time you were there? At the dentist? Yeah. Like two years ago. Damn. That was all it took? Was two years? Yeah. Oh, I'm fucked, dude. So I did yeah, like an yeah. eight year no I'm dentist. A, I'm on an eight year stretch. Four. Yeah. I did an eight year. I had... Yeah, four, and there's one I possibly have on the other side, but they're like, we're not even going to touch it. I have to be on a close to eight-year stretch, Damn. and I've been dipping. <laughs> Dude, my Damn. mouth is probably yeah, yeah. wild. Yeah, I mean, they were like... They might give you the big C when you go to the dentist. What, <laughs> canal root? No, he's talking cancer. about giving me cancer. cancer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 what the yeah. fuck, dude? <laughs> Damn, that's terrible. That yeah. is it's written on the can, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like... They were like... <laughs> the dentist, what? dude, they can fucking warn you. You accept that. Do you guys floss? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Really? I try. <laughs> you floss right here. You, know you don't have cancer, dude. Dude, my gums are bleeding so bad. <laughs> my gums are bleeding. It was crazy. Really? The, yeah, like the the woman kept having to stop and be like, this is crazy. Damn, your face nuts. is swollen. Yeah, yeah. Your mouth is swollen. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty great. Do you, so yeah. do you like, when you floss, What do you? how do you do that? I, I don't do it enough. How <laughs> do you floss? We, 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 no, no. We so I, go some back people to, use uh, the picks. Some people yeah, the use the picks. I used, the I, picks. Yeah. I used to just go like that and grind them into my gums. My girlfriend's like, no, you're supposed to edge them against the sides of your teeth. Teeth, yeah. So I just jam them into my gums and pull them out. Um, That's how the dentist Let's talk. Uh, yeah, this is what we brought. This is what we. Oh, yeah. We sorry. were in the middle of a very serious cuck theory and cuck. Yeah. What's the cuck theory? <laughs> All right. So yeah. go ahead. You can All run right. it back. You might be better at Cuck theory is if. 
say you raise this, so you find out. You get Ancestry.com. That's what we, we, were, t- we were talking about. The fear of cucking is gone now that Ancestry.com exists. You cannot get cucked. You cannot get cucked into raising someone else's child. Which is the uh, ultimate Which is the ultimate cuck- fear. Which I think yeah, is the basis yeah, yeah, of where yeah. cuck fear comes from. Which is from. the ultimate fear of your wife or girlfriend getting fucked by someone else. Yeah, I mean, that's that's definitely up there so, for sure. Which came with agriculture. Once so, you had like a silo full of wheat, you just couldn't raise someone else's kids. So then we're worried about... So we're saying, what would you do if you found out your your kid... In this, in this situation, your very hot daughter was not yours. And you would, in fact, been cucked. Would you keep that secret and raise this hot daughter to the age where you can legally fuck her in front of your wife? Perhaps raise another child Whoa. at a different family, make him super hot, have him fuck the daughter, then kill their kid in front of your wife? Yeah, have them bear that whole another human that's just like the cuck combination. And brought, then... And then just like slit its throat in front of your wife and do yeah, a small squeeze silver it. dish. I said, Jesus and then, Christ. Or would you wanted you, me to weigh in on this? <laughs> Or you sounds take, like you got this all planned. We out. got this one too, where you take your family. <laughs> sounds like you got to figure it out. You slit the baby's wrist into like a silver dish. Oh, like this is what you did, you whore, and throw it at her. Oh, Jesus! And she's like, "Whose kid was that?" <laughs> or feed the baby to her unwittingly. Yeah, like, that's part the of the Olive Garden. Ah, oh, that goes feed? on at the Bennington's in the banquet room. You so feed? then you take oh. all of them, you get them all together. Your side family, your cuck wife, your daughter, your hot ass fucking Secret supple hot daughter, son who's fucking your and your daughter. hot son that you've sculpted into a fucking Adonis. You bring them all to Bennington's banquet room, and then you poison all of them. But we should feed the cuck, the ultimate cuck child to them, dude. T- I have a better- chicken fingers. You sec- secretly give them chicken fingers made out of baby. Yeah. Good. Well, God. I have an and idea then, too. That's the final well, slide. You, you said, guess what? You ate that other fucking kid. Well, you have your secret assassin I would just son. Kill the woman. Really? That's very. Yeah, but you need, sweet, <laughs> you need to get sweet. sweet <laughs> revenge. Yeah. So well, I would say you that's have one D chess. Dude. <laughs> you have your son, right? You have your son <laughs> propose. You gas up your secret son to propose to your hot ass daughter there. And then as they propose, you go boom, ancestry on everybody. And then you're like, you've all been poisoned, and you just ate your baby. Yeah, 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 that's nice. You do it at the wedding. Yeah, now. You, he knocks them up, and you take them to like what they think is Planned Parenthood, but you actually deliver the baby and tell her like it's been aborted, mm. and then you like receive. So you tell her you're gonna give her an that, abortion at like nine months. Yeah, <laughs> very. Pregnant. Or you just you premium it. You save like you're like you we're just gonna, take a fetus out. We're gonna tell her it's gonna do a, like an abortion, but really it's like someone's gonna remove like the the egg and raise the kid in like a test tube. Oh, so you have a whole like double secret side project. Which is just like a pure test that's tube just, kid. You're just, yeah, that's veal. <laughs> you're just keeping this kid soft and tender for this meal. You're just keeping him alive, yeah. You, so you have a kid for like three years that like you don't ever let interact. You just keep on life support. You keep hitting and you keep feeding him like you, sweets. You have you, the dessert you, you the you dessert him. tray. The guy brings milk. in the dessert tray and it's just this kid in like a tube who's just been on life support for like four years with like a big, veiny, fucking <laughs> translucent skin. And you're yeah. like, this is your love child. It wasn't aborted. You guys are brothers and sisters somehow and you're fucking dead, you whore. And then they poison all of them and you fucking ride off. And then you ride off and then you get a letter 10 years later from Ancestry.com <laughs> that was like, oh, our bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you weren't cocked. <laughs> So here's here's what you really need to weigh in on, because apparently you're not you're not down for Shakespearean revenge. I would just I feel like no matter how you slice it in this situation, you lo- if you spent your whole life <laughs> trying to feed baby McNuggets to the wife, <laughs> fucked you. It's just like that's, that's, okay, you lose. We would be able to give you those nuggets. <laughs> no, you eat those nuggets. I've seen you crush nuggets and drop them. <laughs> the thing is though, is that you could use your cuck daughter or cuck cuck son. To match on ancestry, and it'll, it'll tell you who their relatives are, and you could find their dad, and then you could kill their dad. Yeah, that seems like yeah. I mean, it's been, instead of spending like twenty years raising a <laughs> like a person that you're going to murder <laughs> their no, babies or whatever, <laughs> <laughs> to be fully disciplined, just spent four planning that one guy's murder. Dude, I mean, discipline. once you've been cucked that hard, though, what else are you going to do? The discipline is amazing. If you have a secret, would you abandon your secret? Like, if you found out you had a cuck son, would you abandon him or be like? If you if your cuck son's like ten, it depends. Like, damn, what if the cuck son gets like. jacked and starts fucking you up? I know, dude. But again, <laughs> here's, what, here's like. what I was saying. I was hoping for a cuck daughter who ends up being hot, and then you get that news, and you're like, oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. I can yeah. fuck this kid. This kid I loved. Yeah, that's. I mean, that would be great. But I still think you you you're better off spending time planning the murder of 
your wife and the dude who cucked you. So like OJ. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like raise that girl who you'll eventually you know make your wife just like Woody Allen style. That's yeah, what I said. Yeah, about, yeah, yeah. And then, um, yeah, and then you know spend just four or five years planning like a very elaborate, detailed murder of the two of them. You know what you could do? You could get so good at football that the country forgives you. True. <laughs> you could work so hard at becoming a good That's running true. back. You just take it to the gridiron, dude. <laughs> and then you can, when you cut their head off, everyone's like, that cop said the n word. <laughs> this guy's a great running back. <laughs> yeah, I guess you'd have to hit like the arena league. You could have you'd have to win yeah. the country's hearts though through I'd have to hit like the arena league at best. You guys Maybe. love the long con. The long con <laughs> post cock. So what do you think now? In turn, we were talking about how it's like impossible to ex- expect that you're gonna find like a wife who's also like, you know, stellar lover, who's also like gonna be a good child rearing partner yeah. and like you're like a friend you can talk to and hang out with. And how that's almost like a scratch off lottery ticket, but now thanks to Ancestry dot com blocking <laughs> <laughs> blocking all of the all basically yeah. m- making sure it's like literally if Jerry Springer became God. Yeah. Now like you have like an omniscient omniscient like Jerry Springer just being like watching all the bays, but like, if you fuck around, like your your day's coming. Ancestry dot com so like, about to expose your without the threat of you having a cuck son or cuck daughter, are you that daughter. worried about your girl? fucking around <laughs> no. now that you know basically you got brings home security on your girl's pussy <laughs> you got fucking ancestry.com watching your back dude ancestry.com is watching your six yeah dude it would be yeah, <laughs> it's watching yeah. your snares dude <laughs> but the, again you gotta wait a while to find out right you gotta wait until the baby i mean now all you need is saliva dude well, yeah, I mean, you gotta, yeah, you gotta stick. I mean, I'm, I'm yeah. planning on sticking around the, after the birth, after way. I'm a stand up guy, but yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm saying, like, now knowing that, are you as worried in terms of, like. How worried were you going into this that I'm you were gonna raise it. somebody else's child? <laughs> very, yeah, Dude, man, not at all. Ben think. believes was, this. It's, it's not, more common than you think. I, it's like is one it? in like 30 or something crazy. No way. Dude, I'm telling you. Look it up. I'll Google is it. That right seems now. like a statistic yeah, that's how fucked many, up with, how many, like, people who. I don't know. How many girls are whores? What do you think that number is? I would love to see some demographic breakdowns. Of how, what do you think that is? How many people how many girls do you think are whores? Raise, uh, more than one in 30. Yeah, yeah, definitely kids. more than one in 30. And so how many it's probably you, 60%. 60% are whores? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> per, yeah. Percent <laughs> this of... This fucked up mouth. <laughs> God, yeah. What? 60% of women are whores? Dude, I have to do like stretches when I'm not talking to keep... The blood. No, it looks good. It's like I'm oh, on you the got bike. blood. <laughs> <laughs> of raising percent of raising <laughs> kids. <laughs> to get, dude, go to ancestry.com. It'll ha- it'll definitely have the numbers. Dude, my I, I this this is this is probably way too hot for the cast, but uh, no. I think my 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 dad found out he had a sister through ancestry.com. <laughs> he had a cut sister. <laughs> yeah, like my grandfather had a kid. Like oh, I guess. Wait. So your grandfather had a secret kid. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, there is nothing. That's not cucked. I know that's not cucked, but I'm just saying. That's now, like, if he made your mom raise it somehow. <laughs> yeah, I just made it. You know what my, you could do in order to cuck your to cuck wife? A lady. You know what you could do to cuck your wife? What? Time it perfectly. So you get another lady pregnant at the same time. When your wife gives birth, swap a roo, toss that kid out the fucking toss window. Toss your own kid? Toss the other boy straight out. Make her raise this other son. So you're going to kill your own kid so you can raise your you love child? have a child? net down there, ship him off. <laughs> <laughs> Sell him to the circus. Well, yeah. Or, yeah. What if you just like good friends with the doctor and they were like, it was like a, you know, very early on in the pregnancy, they like swapped it in vitro. In vitro. Swap. Just knocked her out. Just be like, I think it's best, you know, like you get him to tell her that it's like the best thing to do. Is, is like, for you to go under the knife right now. Or it's just, you know, you know, general anesthesia or whatever. These are all good moves. Down. Yeah. Yeah. Put a little, you know, if you had like an ugly wife that was a great person. And you want to have could, a hotter kid. Right. <sighs> Dude, they're saying. Sometimes it's, ugly it's, and ugly creates greatness. So if I, I match up with true. an ugly lady, that's I might true. have a hot kid. That's true. I'm always just hoping for height. Yeah. <sighs> hoping for height. Yeah, they're trying You're to obsessed. say now it's. It, I'm obsessed with height. Yeah. No, nah, I like I'm not. I'm you got to dictate your life. Height? I you think, think what, about it. I obviously I don't but like you dude you don't know what it's like man you don't know what it's like in a conversation to be looking up at people that you're the same age as the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> to be looking up and like if they don't look down you never get to talk 
<laughs> it just, you never get to talk. You gotta like, <laughs> you gotta shout. You gotta give them a gift. It's you gotta you present them, big guys a gift, treat. Yeah, yeah especially like, if it's like in a loud situation, like. Dude, anytime, Here's a drink, anytime bro. I was trying to talk to Soda, like when the goddamn comedy jam was gonna, he had to like bend all the way. Down. Oh man, you know, yeah. Like I, I was, thought about know, that. It's the worst feeling. Short and, like, guys, yeah, they hate that shit. Dude, yeah. When I'm when I'm above, that's people, why. You, every, that's if you're short, all you gotta do is. I mean, I do that. If you're like talking to somebody, you gotta constantly smack them. Like, yo, <laughs> yo, dude, yo, dude, yo, dude, just fucking, yeah. yo, bro, yo, bro. Yeah. I pay attention to you. Just, yeah, that's what. Yeah, just nipping at. I the listen heels. to you. Yeah, yeah. That's Damn, huge. I didn't think about that. Yeah, so they're saying it's basically there was people who said there was thirty percent, nine percent, but they said they were due to small samples, and I'm just skimming this. They're saying it's at least one to two percent. One they're, to two percent of I mean, the that's population. Millions of fucking people, got cocked. Mil- there's one. They're saying with a again, this is just another study, population wide random sample DNA, DNA testing. It's like ethically unviable, so they can't really do it. But they're saying like it's probably at least like two percent or so. Of 250 million right. people. Yeah. A lot of cucks on. So about one in 50. But what neighborhoods do you think that's happening in, right? Whoa. Come on. Whoa, Whoa dude. dude. What are you saying? Come on. You're saying it's a low income uh, behavior? Uh, yeah, oh more often gosh. than not. Yeah. Nah, what about the dad flying around on business a lot, This bro? is true. This is true. This yeah, is man. True. Yeah. That's, wow, that's, Chris. Yeah, I can't I think, believe you said that. Yeah, why? You're like, what are we talking about? Are we talking about black people or not? That, no, that's what you're saying. No, that's, that's what, what you, you said. Heard. I said that's what, what you, neighborhoods. Absolutely what you what said. neighborhoods are we what talking neighborhoods? about? What neighborhoods? Yeah. The white neighborhoods. You know what you were talking I've, about. Well, no, there's like there's some places in Delco that I'm like... Hmm. Just saying, like, poor white saying neighbor. This is a poor problem. You don't that care. I think more often than not, yeah. Cucking, you think cucking's a poor problem? Yeah, yeah, I think it is. I don't know, dude. I think that happens to like the extremely wealthy. I don't know. Sometimes the wife's know. too embarrassed to tell because that's her only source of income. You know, like on the if wealth? you're poor enough. Oh, the poor. no, yeah, you're yeah. poor. It's like I need somebody around. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell this guy. Yeah, I wonder if that happens to more of like the. Could be. I just feel like I mean now again. Thanks I mean, what are the, what are the rates of like alcohol consumption? Is it is it higher with low income? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah so I would just, that I correlate uh, those two things. Okay, getting cucked. Is, intentionally had, or unintentionally yeah. happens with oh, wow. a lot of booze. Alcohol yeah. definitely fuels the cuck flames. So yeah, that's true. If you if you were to if you were to run if you were to run a multivariate analysis, yeah, chances of drink, if your wife's out drinking, your chances of being cucked are elevated by about three hundred. Very high. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Very Fuck. high. You lock the silver bullets away. <laughs> Very Don't yeah, let if your girlfriend drinking silver bullets, you have a hundred percent chance of getting cucked. You're getting yeah. cucked. Yeah. <laughs> by a guy with longer hair than her. Damn. Nice blonde, long hair. Yeah, yeah just dude, some jacked ca- weird jacked calves. Yep. Like I didn't think you'd have jacked Someone calves. Someone passing through town, mm. you know, because the less known he is in the neighborhood, the more likely you can get away with it, dude. And chicks are kind of sensitive to old rolling tumbleweeds, dude. When you're awake, you're just well, rolling yeah, through yeah, the town, yeah, yeah. Because you think that guy's gonna be gone soon, mm-hmm. you know. Shit. You know, you do it. You do it in the town, then that's like a lifelong secret you're gonna have to keep. And you know, can't trust that guy because he's also fucked up. You know what I mean? Damn. Yeah. The yeah. lore of a, a traveling man. Well, now, now that <laughs> people like that, they do. Yeah. They love that shit. Well, it's also because, like, especially you get in a hotel room. This is. I'm trying to fuck. Well, girls have a girls have a very <laughs> girls have a fixed like yeah, nice population they're around, and they can't start fucking too many of the same people of, yeah. like, from different groups because then they'll get found out. It's like, wait, you fucked, and they all you know everything explodes in their face. Yeah, yeah. So when they have like a nice traveling person, they're like, sweet, I can go fuck that person. Yeah, and right. he's Which mysterious. Is, dude, why did everyone get yeah. weird during the live podcast when I was asking girls like why they decide to just like randomly blow people? That guy, that tightened everybody up. Yeah, that was weird. That, that was tightened weird. everybody up. I was like, I'm not being fucking mean. I'm like, this is a fair question. Yeah, why would you blow someone? Yeah, like... I don't know. Why, don't would, like, you, why would you eat pussy? Because yeah. I want to fuck. Really? You think it's, it's just Sometimes a I just like... Yeah. I would just eat... If someone was like, we can't fuck, you can just go down on me. I'd be like, yeah, all right. Even if they weren't, sometimes someone's got a really good pussy. And you're Whoa, like, I Chris. Gotta get down. <laughs> Every time Chris, <laughs> you gotta get down I there. fucking hate when Chris talks about Dude, this Dude, when shit. you... Having that facial hair just like it's like a pussy. microphone for pussy. It's like, pussy. <laughs> Dude, you talking about sex is you're up there with Gerby. You've Hold talked on, so about, would you care about he's your... talked about the taste of pussy to me. He's talking. He's yeah. like, yeah, just the the musk coming off of her. That, pussy. I, I don't know. Are you, are you in like shape? What, what's your what's your like favorite like hair situation? Bush, landing strip, naked I, shave. The yeah, I mean, look as long as the work area is clean, 
You you know? like just a little it's thumb. like you can have something on the top that's fine, but it's just like as long as it's not really hairy. Tell you what, like, when I it think spreads, it's the same. When it spreads, it's like the thighs and <laughs> you get the whole thing covered. <laughs> yeah. It's like all right, well, come on, ladies. That's yeah, tough. Yeah, Let's that's take tough. some pride in this. <laughs> so how do a little pride? How do you feel about <laughs> getting cucked now, knowing that you won't really have to raise someone else's child? Do you feel better? Do you about feel being cucked? more secure about your chances of being cucked? Because that's like, dude, they're inviting like hell upon themselves. How discreetly can you get the DNA test done, though? All you got to get is spit. Oh, say is right. Just a weekend where she's, get, she's not around. Surprise! You surprise the whole family. You go, guys, surprise! Yeah. Surprise! Happy surprise! Father's Day. Ah, surprise! And then like your wife's not gonna be. We're not doing that. Is then it'll be what the fuck? Why not? Let's do it. And then hey, your well, kids I'm like, doing it. come on, mom, it's gonna be cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not that. It's so easy. You literally you spit into a thing. You shake it up and send it away. Wow. What if your Dude. wife's a secret J? And that's why she's like, no, come on. <gasps> we don't need to do this. <gasps> You're like, you turned my kid into a Jew? My son's a Jew, you bitch. <laughs> no I'd be, son I'd be of kind mine. Of, I'd be we were talking earlier We were talking earlier about how you know you can be Jewish in secret, how like it tends to be the most secretive ethnicity. Ooh, speaking of. Yeah. What? What about a secret you, Jew? You don't think Okani could be a little secret? O'Connor's not a secret Jew. Dude, no way. <laughs> I'm so you far do, you from do your ancestry? Jew. I'm irresponsible with money. What? <laughs> you, you, no, you're, you're one of the more Irish money. people <laughs> I've ever met in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so funny, by the way, like whenever I tell like people about us, and like our, I'm like, ooh, McCusker, McKeever, O'Connor... They're yeah. like, Jesus Christ, who are you guys? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what is, why is your group of friends just like a clan of Irish and Scottish dudes? <laughs> it's yeah, it's strong. Sick. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, We're fucking man. Celts, dude. Yeah. I, I need a fucking answer. Love, thicker than love blood. fucking pussy. <laughs> I need an answer on this, O'Connor. Are what? you are you worried about being? I'm not worried not? about being. Honestly, dude, I'm trying to live a life where it's like if I'm even if I if I think that I'm with someone who's got that card in her deck, like she could play a cuck card. I'm out. Hopefully. I'm out. You know? Really? I don't Yeah, I can't. But how do you determine whether or not you're just being paranoid? You pay close attention <laughs> to what? <laughs> uh just yeah, I don't know. I, I I think I think you could tell. Yeah. If someone has a cut card in the If day. someone's crazy or not? Yeah. Someone's it's not crazy, dude. They, they, it's it, can, cra- it is crazy. crazy. It's a one percent. One percent of the population that's does that's, it. That's dude. They, it's crazy. That again, they, they they did studies. The samples they took. Or between nine and thirty percent. Someone is like, I don't believe this. If you were to do thirty percent of the population, they did. There was a study of a gynecologist. They did like a DNA match with like their kids. That one study, they got thirty percent. But again, that just could have just been the sample. Yeah. They did another one. They got like around nine. But then there's this guy saying like, well, you know, they're just a small sample. If you were to do it, it would probably be around this. So they didn't. They, they're like, we can't do like humongous. Maybe he was like, like well, look at the households. It's probably one percent. You think you know what I mean? He was probably like, "This is probably a poor Planned Parenthood that's doing this." Yeah, yeah, but still, yeah, they're going to be sampling. The majority from a group of people of are pretty. Are, the majority what? of people. That, that last cool. scientist was probably like, "They're not sampling the whites. <laughs> we're more honorable than this. It's probably <laughs> we're so honorable. It probably knocks that thirty percent down to about one." I don't know. You got the you got a fucking hard fucking cuck belt, dude. There's no <laughs> like cuck belt, dude. Down through like if Kentucky. someone if someone got pregnant if a woman got pregnant from another dude, yeah. And didn't abort it, and Whoa. was in a serious relationship oh, dude, with you. Jesus Christ, Catholic Chris. podcast, dude. Yeah, the fuck? dude. Jesus Christ, dude, Jesus. come on, let's let's Have cut, some the, sh- cut the shit, dude. Cut the shit. Yeah, but if what she, if she doesn't know? What if she took a cream pie from you and that other guy? Exactly. Then it, I'm saying that if it's that close of a race, and she isn't like, that's what I'm saying. It's like you gotta you gotta kill that baby Whoa. just for. What are you a fucking Roman emperor, dude? You gotta you gotta take that baby out just because no, you don't know. Dude. Yeah, but you, you, don't, you do have you, to take the baby out and then claim then claim miscarriage to your husband. Yeah, and then keep it float moving. it down a river. Yeah, and then you think keep you know it moving. Yeah. Yeah. Abraham was a cuck. That's how you if yep. you love someone. He's like God fucking. <laughs> if you love someone, that's how you lie to them. Well, the, the, by killing their by killing the kid and killing just starting over. Son. Yeah, just starting it over. Starting a clock. I don't know. You, I think you're underestimating how bad chicks want babies though. What chicks like need? They need a baby, dude. No, I know, but I'm saying like, like they you, want you that. Then, you then like yeah, you wipe the slate clean, and then a month later you get to take another cream pie and <laughs> <laughs> you start over. I don't know. Come on, that's so the you, move. That's so the move. You're saying, someone loves you. That's Matt, what, they what do. do you want out of this? Yeah. You seem just, to be wanting a certain angle out of this. Now, just, what do you want? I just I think that we need to take a more realistic approach to our lifelong romantic partnerships we agreed on this already what do you mean oh you mean you think you're gonna wind up raising oh someone he wants else's to be poly. Oh. he wants to be i don't want to be poly 
That's what you hate. Polly is my so thing is like, fucking. I don't want to be dumb. Matt. Matt's Polly now. He no, loves no. the Green New Deal. He's. I love the, I love the Green New <laughs> I'm, Deal. I'm, I, you know, I like the Green New I Deal. I love the yeah, Green New know, Deal. I'm bored with that. I'm not Polly. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm thinking, is there another way? Because, like, say you have a girlfriend that you just have really good sex with, and that's great. Could you have got like another girl who would come in and like help you raise the kid and stuff? All right, so dude, now you're Mormon. Dude, see, not, a couple not wives, not a couple Mormon. ladies, not more. But you'd it's have to work. You'd have to give something up. Your girlfriend would have to be able to get something else from someone else. She gets to fuck another guy, but she can't get cucked. But you can't get cucked by that. Would you be as threatened knowing you can't get cucked? I'm trying Even to if find you can't out. Can't get cucked. That guy can fear... still getting cucked is getting your your wife fucking you. Yeah, but the, where fucking... the ultimate fear comes from, I think, is having to raise someone's child. I understand that. What We've about cuck, why does cuck porn make people so horny about that? My ultimate fear in this hot, situation... <laughs> I know, is, that's what's so confusing. It's nice to see a woman exploring her the body. Idea, the ideal situation is to like think about your... <laughs> To be able to turn all that into being super horny for your girlfriend getting cucked and then just be like, Ugh, what's going on? Dude, I... I <laughs> That's the ideal. That's the I only just way like I, I don't know. It's like <laughs> the only way out. What is, is the you? only way? I don't even know what the end game. Is. What? <laughs> dude, I've been asking Matt what dude, he wants, dude, and dude. he just reverts. To it like, sounds like you're into polyamory. That's I'm what not, it sounds I'm like. Not, it sounds I like can't. you want to be fucking around. The, only, the end and game is the you. end game is Matt saying this is what Matt is saying. This is for an hour now. Is <laughs> it's? Yeah, I think Matt's having trouble in his relationship, and he's like, it's impossible to be in love. <laughs> you can't find someone you want to fuck and like. Which, no, dude. I agree, because if you're friends with a girl, you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not going to be friends with your wife. That does need to... No, but that's a lifelong project. That's, what, that's to why... To figure out a way to be friends and yeah. not be gay. That's, that's to... the lifelong... That, to me, is that's the project the I'm interested in. Listen, no, no, that's, that's the, the project. Shut up, no, shut up, shut up. We're all talking I'm at the same time. You need to go to... You need to get married in the Catholic Church. Sure. You need to sit down with a priest, <laughs> and they'll explain to you, like, listen, this isn't a fucking marriage about you guys, oh, you get to be cool and have sex and fucking... It's like this is hard work. It's gonna suck, but you gotta fucking do it. But where can you crack one off? You can crack one off, dude. Ask the priest. He'll be like, dude, it's wrong, but go fucking crack one off. <laughs> you are allowed to crack one off whenever you. Oh, you talking about fucking other chicks? If you're, you're allowed to fuck other chicks, if you're a dude, okay. Guys are allowed to cheat. So it's girl, in the Bible. Now girls aren't because of girls ancestry. are not allowed to cheat because of because God is so fucking cool that He gave us ancestry. God gave us ancestry. God also <laughs> wrote this down in the Torah, exactly, and the fucking Quran. <laughs> yeah, He wrote it down. He was like, "Girls can't cheat." In yeah. in the Quran, in the Quran, in the Holy Quran. Yeah, uh, it is written that guys can fuck chicks. <laughs> it is. You can have a fucking harem. I think you just got to If you're suck balling it up. enough to have a harem, you can have it. I think you just got to choose. You either got to choose a good person and spend your whole life figuring out how to be attracted no. to them. I yeah, think, or, you, or you got to choose or a hot person route. and you got to figure out nope. a way to keep them <laughs> away from like <laughs> assets that are important to you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think, I think it's, like, red pill, it's like, red pill, blue pill. Yeah. It's you want shark tooth necklace or enlarged prostate. There are two goals. What's in enlar large prostate? It's large prostate. You, that's what you oh, get after you have don't a nice come for wife. Years, yeah. You have a nice <laughs> happy. You have a nice good partnership. You but just, you, yeah, you get like a short bowl cut, like big old fat elastic. <laughs> <person. laughs> yeah, and you just never come forever. And or you, your kid goes off deuce, and learns to become a saxophonist tooth. or some shit. <laughs> yeah, your son's an artist. <laughs> you get some chick just makes like the most out of this world like Rice Krispie treats with like peanut butter fudge in them, and that's how you feed your. That's, prostate, dude. That sounds so much better. <laughs> it, it, dude, it's getting not bad. sweet treats. It's not bad. Bowl cut, kids sweet ripping treats, the saxophone. Your kids just upstairs training, but you don't. <laughs> Care, you're like, you man, know you didn't get cucked. You didn't get cucked, and you got like a kid playing a flute upstairs. But you're still like, you know what? Whatever. That's what he likes. We're all just doing whatever we like. Fuck it. <laughs> Except me. <laughs> no, you're so happy. You got the treats. I said you, can... you get delicious sweet treats. You got a lady you kind of like. True. She's like sweet. I feel like you're a nice. The nicer a girl is, the easier she is to cheat on. So you have that going for you. You do have. A mean wild chick is tough to cheat on. Cause she's she knows all the tricks. Cause she's obviously she's doing to, it to you exactly. So she's like, she knows all the signs. Yeah, I'm just saying. I think at one point you got to just give in, get some high tube socks on, grab a camcorder, and stand on top of your like over your babe on a bed. Like, oh yeah, babe. Oh, I love watching you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, babe. I love. And then you. your tiny dick occasionally <laughs> comes into the screen jerking off. Why do they do that? Cupboard. It's always some fucking fat dude's like soft dick. 
like while his wife's getting fucked. Dude, you I stand I, over the camcorder. Like, oh yeah, oh babe, oh god, you oh, look yeah. so good right now. Oh, you you like so that? Right She's now. not even listening to him. Happy birthday, babe. <laughs> <laughs> I've never watched a cuck porn. Oh, Every I time have. I see it, I'm like, no. Really? I'm like, I, no. It hurts you? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't I, like I, it. I was born in the darkness, dude. I, <laughs> I, 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 I was like, molded by one it. One time I watched one because the title was like, eventually the dude tags in. Like, he's yeah, like, you were happy for him? Yeah, 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 also. yeah. Like, she's like, you're a fucking piece of shit. And so she's like, fucking this other dude. And then she's like, you learn your lesson? Like, as he's like, hammer her. And he's like, he's like, yeah, I get it. And then he tags in. They just double team her for Did the you make it until the double team? Or did you already call? No, she was no, like, no, no. I waited. I like, oh. I, no, I waited. I skipped until right before the double. Uh, right before the double. You, yeah. you have jo- morals. You in started this. jerking off in like the joyous return. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's weird. That's weird of you. Why? To attach those like morals to it. I I don't know if it's moral thing. I just like I just don't like. No, it. Like, you were rooting like, for the antagonist. You were rooting, rooting for, for the, the underdog. Yeah. 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 Well, that's what I was like. I don't know. I, yeah, some I think I was telling f- you that like I have a problem watching like gay porn, just because like I, like the idea of a dude getting it's just like it feels like uh, someone's losing. When I see a dude a getting, getting fucked, fucked, it's just like, hey, come on, man. <laughs> you know, let that guy get you like that. It's tough. It's <laughs> yeah. tough to watch, man. I think that's why I would like, yeah, that I would could never let that happen. I would love to see why you, you could never let. I would never be. I would never like. I would, would you never be, be able top? to like, get fucked, even if as much as I open my mind to the idea that it could be like an. Like a centrally enjoyable fucking experience. Amazing. Well, you're pretty close. You're pretty close already. <laughs> you're, over, you're, real, you're closer than you think, my friend. Because if you're sitting around, like I can understand how central it would be to let another man. No, penetrate no. I'm me. saying even if I could get to that place, the the larger hurdle would be like, but it'd be like getting dunked on to me. It is like posterizing someone. Yeah. Getting fucked in the ass. <laughs> yeah, I think mean, it's the ultimate. What about what about posters? I mean, there's I've talked about it before. There's this extreme lack of tops in the gay community. What? There's an extreme Which lack of top. The Most, top is the one who's uh, taking it. Well, how about that opportunity for Dude, you? Dude, don't pretend you don't know how gay people have sex. <laughs> Did you hear it? <laughs> Whoever's listening to this, rewind to when he says what. Yeah, what? <laughs> Listen to how fake that was. You know all about Wait, the gay community. <laughs> Whoa, I've never now, heard of this. Top? What's the top? <laughs> the top is a guy who's fucking, dude. The bottom is the, the power bottom. It's the guy. A power bottom is so someone who throw that ass to back take? at you. Yeah, because they're gay. No one wants Chris to give it kind of gay. It's, it's very, very <laughs> small. There's a shortage. There's a shortage of... There's a shortage you see, of... You see me rear up? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. There's a shortage <laughs> of tops, dude. Up. It's an epidemic. So if you're like a top in the gay community, it's just on forever. Really? Yeah. And it turns out... Well, almost forever. Uh, is this... Th- to What? You know what happens if you bug you? Yeah, until the bug gets you. But thanks to Ancestry.com, <laughs> you can find out who had it. Who had the bug? Who has the bug? I think they cured the bug. I think they, the party's back on. The party is back on. Yeah, they decriminalized the, the bug. <laughs> Given the bug. With the bug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, really? Yeah, in California, like you can give it because it's like they, the they've fuck? kind of got medicine for it now, so it's like not like a life threatening. It still, still needs shitty. to be a crime. It's not That's like a death It's worse than herpes, yeah, dude. Yeah. Or that again? Be, yeah. Is it? Is AIDS worse than herpes? Yeah. Why don't they cure herpes first? What the fuck? I know I had chlamydia for a while. I was looking at this, like the info about it, and there was just one article. You're that being was, a bad boy when you got that chlamydia. <laughs> I, was, I was misbehaving. I should have gotten it twice. Uh, never got it. But yeah, they were saying that like a lot of people think this is like not that bad of a disease because you just take. But it's like it can fuck your DNA up in your balls. Oh boy, I should go back to the doctor. Did you get tested after you should have gotten chlamydia? Yeah, and they're like, right, don't have it. I, nice. Both times I took a Z pack just in case. Okay. But or just maybe the one time. The other time I was like, sorry, but I don't have that. That's your problem. Bye. Nice. Someone, she someone called gave me you a call. and said, Hey. I went and got tested. I was like, got it was like a I got the voicemail listen. I was like, what the fuck? I went and got tested, clean bill of health, and was like, sorry, don't have it. Wow. Debunked. Damn, My you mute debunked her? too good. My dick's too small. <laughs> or she, I mean, she got chlamydia right after you. <laughs> Something happened, dude. It was Ugh. just like Yeah, it's like sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's a sweet call to make. Yo, sorry, I got your message. Turns out I don't have it. <laughs> Turns yeah. out uh, I didn't catch your whore. The whore <laughs> that you were passing around. I didn't get it. Yeah, that was a sweet victory. Damn. That is a sweet. That's then a another flawless. time I should have like I should have had it, and I went to the doc, and they're like, "Dude, you just don't like." I don't know what the fuck's happening. I was talking to the doctor. I'm like, "Damn, how cool is God, dude? <laughs> dude how great is our God? Yeah, he's yeah. an awesome guy. Should have got yeah. mono too. Never got mono. I got mono. It stunk, dude. My I was. I was. I'm on a Wait, that means you like still have it, right? I don't know. I was making out heavy in high school, dude. And she I got was the like, kissing by disease. the way, I got the kissing disease at soccer practice, basically proto cuck. And then I was just like, yeah, you're probably sipping off someone's water bottle. 
Went and tested. <laughs> the doctor was just like, nah, you don't have mono. And I was like. You got to call her. I remember they were, I'll be like, well, my girlfriend has it. I remember the doctor being like, huh, funny. Dude, I you not, fucking yeah. cuck. <laughs> <laughs> it says here on your chart you're a cuck. <laughs> Damn, dude. So you've had this cuck fear for a long time. I don't, I don't have a cuck fear. I was always cool. I legitimately, that was a good girl. I think she just was playing soccer and got fucking mono mono dude. Oh, that was a good girl? Is that the good girl? That's a good girl, Is that dude. the good girl yeah, I know about? That's a good girl, dude. <laughs> I, dated a, I dated a wild... Yeah, my high school girlfriend. I didn't make out with a like mono time. generator. I never got mono, but like you dated patient one of mono. Yeah, she was. The, yeah, yeah, she was the she most. She was very experimental. Yeah, she was kissing. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, she was plugging e pills up her butt yeah. in high school. Uh, I don't know. No, we Some never got into that kind of stuff. Okay, yeah. my bad. <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I never like. Yeah, I damn. Didn't. So your high school girlfriend was a slut. Who was your first so, high school love? Uh, that sucks. Who? Who? Yeah. By name? I mean, My like, head. no, I'm saying, like, what kind of archetype? What bay archetype? What bay archetype? You? I think it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I picked Could a be wild, slut. bro. Yeah. My first experience with love was like just a pure. I got like utterly psyoped to the point where like my nervous system broke down. Not like I didn't like you know fucking freak out, but I remember being like, oh, dude, all I could think about was getting cucked. And then yeah, I remember, I think it's a real problem it for you. It broke. I remember it broke something to the point where I was like, I don't even care anymore. And I, I just think, like ever since. Then, oh yeah, I, just, I remember when you talked about. Yeah, that. it just Not broke. A, dude, you were broke. working. weren't you doing yard work? I was doing I was mulching. <laughs> I was like, mulching. Like, like you know, like, who cares if someone like, else mulching. walks there? It's basically just the same experience of every landscaper in the world. You just dump a wheelbarrow. And you're like, I don't even give a fuck if you fuck someone else. And you go back to the truck. <laughs> yeah, that's everyone's thing. That I, is that is what needs to happen. If you're gonna if you're gonna live on the edge like that and date a hua, you need to just be like. Whatever happens, happens, it's like being on the plane when it starts. True. The turbulence kicks. I feel like if it's I got like, it, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I it's don't, very fuck similar. Someone, fuck it. Dude. I, I feel yeah, like if, I you get a, if you get an earring and like a real sick like like button down Hawaiian wardrobe, you can pull it off. You're like, yeah, dude, we're wild. I don't know if yeah, we're both wild. You're not wild. You're just, <laughs> just out sucking guys. Dicks. You're like dressing like the co- crocodile hunter, dude. You can definitely absorb a cuck a lot better. I don't yeah. know if you guys have covered this already, but uh, I think that all three of us. I don't know your dating history very well, but I think all three of us have a slight case of the women just choosing us. Why don't you speak for yourself? I think really. Uh, fuck it. What do you mean, like them pulling more so pulling you? I in? think no. I'm saying like in most relationships that you've got, or at times you've hooked up, has it just been the woman being like, "What are we doing now?" Blah, or blah, like, blah. "I'm attracted to you. We're doing it." You know, nah, like man. have you ever like picked up? Yeah. A woman or a girlfriend, like. Yeah, but I always yes. like you've walked up to someone who's just <laughs> has no idea who you are, yes. doesn't like know any. That's how I just, met my wife, girlfriend. Oh, really? I walked up to my ex wife and was like, "Are we like, talking about just fogging?" <laughs> straight either fogging. Or. Yeah, either or. Come on, dog. Yeah, dude. For girlfriend, Come on, for, all right. for all right. my, my ex wife, right. I met her in a bar and was I like scoped her. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I scoped her and was like, you know, we made out that night, and then we eventually started dating. And eventually, got married. We okay. met in a bar. Classic okay. disaster. Classic, classic disaster. Classic make out in a bar first night, get yeah. married. Yeah, like years later. Ooh. Like, yeah, and bro- we broke up like nine times before we got, you know. Yeah. That's natural. Before we made the fucking. Right. That's right. my pattern. Right. My I didn't want to drag like, you guys into that. My pattern, no, that's yeah, fine, fuck dude. You, dude. I'm sorry. My pattern is meet and be a wild child until the girl finally goes, what are we doing here? And then I'm like, fuck, I have a girlfriend now. Uh. <laughs> that's been my fucking, that was my MO for a while. And then I gave, you know, I'm, now I'm, I'm a, I've been giving it the honest try. Yeah. Where I'm like, I'm a good boy about everything. And it's just. God damn it! Is it hard, bro? Yeah, yeah. I just got out. Of, I just got out of that. I just you did? Of, yeah. Chris is single right now. I'm free and clear. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll see. No, I'm out. But I've, I've, I'm dude, out. trust me. I do this every week. <laughs> I, every time I know, I'm like, I know, listen, I I'm single now. Yeah. And the episode comes out, I'm already back together with her. No, I'm out. Yeah, I'm they have a, out. they have a way of like bending the gravity space time under yeah. your feet, and you no, just slide we're right we're back in down. Like a blocked number situation. Whoa, yeah, nice. It's a full. Any? What are you roughing her up a little? What? You Did you rough her, her up? No. <laughs> yeah, no. You didn't rough I'm, her up? I told you. I'm I yeah, we're, disciplined we're like character. A mutual, what, what is it? Like a mutual uh, patience? Like restraining? We got like yeah. restraining orders going. <laughs> yeah. it's all no, good. no, no. <laughs> Everything's pretty good. No, I, no. I, yeah, I got blocked. Why'd she, she blocked you? Wait, yeah, so she yeah. blocked you. I'll tell you yeah. what. There's no uh, mutual block. I called Chris today. Well, yeah. <laughs> she blocked you. <laughs> yeah, she blocked me. I'm sick. <laughs> it was kind of like, if you do this, I'm going to block you. What'd you do? I did it. Dick pic? No, no, no. You hit her? No. <laughs> Did you hit her? Of course not. Why'd she block you? Of course you? not. Uh, you but, don't have to say. But she would say you hit her, so we should probably stop joking around about <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
no, so she, she was like, "I'm gonna block you," and you're like, "All right, I'm gonna block you first. And then, well, it was won't. like uh, it was like either either you try to like we try to do this again. If there's any hope, uh, just tell me. Otherwise, I'm gonna like block you. And, and I was mm. like, N- "No, it's gone. Block me." Yeah. And then she was like, All right, "She went new phone. Me. Who dis?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You want to know? You want to know? I called Chris today, uh-huh. and when he told me he was they broke up, I was like, "Oh man, obviously." I didn't even think about it. It's like obviously you just had a great weekend. <laughs> yeah, Girlfriends yeah. hate that. Oh, yeah. Connie was up in New York at Skankfest. Yeah. That's a guaranteed breakup, dude. Bays. Yeah, that was before yeah. that though. Did you guys break up. Before but that, that was good. Yeah, we did. Yeah. They broke up before that, but then we're kind of yeah teetering on getting we're, back together. We're but figure it out. A nice fun trip with your friends. That's a oh, guaranteed breakup, man, dude. And I was good about it too. I was like calling, texting, but. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the longer you wait, the worse your options get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. do you mean? Like, well, unless you, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, back to fucking, like, you go back in time. If you're, like, the older you get, if you try to date, like, your age-wise counterpart, it just gets, like, you get a rougher and rougher, you know, the class of fucking yeah, 2019. Yeah, yeah. To draft draft oh, that's still left? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude. You get some leftovers, though. You get some back recycled. Yeah. You get some new bays that are coming back out off of a of divorce, coming hard yeah. out of a divorce. Coming flying I mean, out of the there's, shoots. There's True, be, yeah. But it's like that comes with a lot of fucking baggage, bro. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta just continue to fuck young chicks. Uh, yeah. yeah Till you die. Yeah. But then I feel like that's all, that can also be a. Oh, don't! It's a it's a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> it's an absolute nightmare. But yeah. Then you slowly and slowly start becoming like more of a stranger to them, and then you're just kind of like, oh fuck, I should date someone my own age. And you're like, ew, they're old. Yeah. And then you go to Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just go to Thailand. Then you just get into sexual tourism. How interested are you guys in going to Thailand? For, Not at all. For what? You're talking <laughs> sexual tourism? Are you trying yeah, to get yeah, us into yeah, sexual yeah. tourism? Chris fucking tourism. loves yeah. toots, dude. I'm not going to Thailand. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't yeah, yeah. go. I mean, the toot scene there is a little too heavy for me, I think. You would end I know you would end up getting I, tricked into a lady yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah. With dude, your luck, I'm so impressionable. <laughs> yeah, Chris could get ladyboyed hard. You could man. get ladyboyed real hard. Yeah, you dude. two, <laughs> you two should not go. You two are both ladyboy targets. <laughs> Say less, dude. They they see they see like jacked manlets like us, dude. They're just they fucking, see those like, boys like that. I honestly, there was there was someone just put a video get a like few sighties of Matt out in <laughs> Thailand. Oh, someone put a video yeah, on be, YouTube that was tough. just like filming like a Thai street with like their cell phone or something like that, and it was just like 45 minutes of them like. Just like that's a lady boy, and I I watched like almost the whole thing, being like interesting. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, so yeah. there's lady dog. Lady there was boy just lady boys, and then there's like there's, there's there's dudes that look like us floating around, hammered. Yeah, yeah. yeah just yeah. British dudes. And I just watched this, and it was just like, wow, what a scene. There's a dude just bird dog and lady boys, being like that's one. Good that's for him. One. Yeah, yeah. How much is it? How like how much is it for him to be your travel guide? Just just know. walk through the land of lady boys and be like. There's got to be. Out. Yeah, yeah. There's one. Like, no. There's got to be. You would guys. take a lady boy. My thing was if, if oh, yeah, I were, we, you would discuss If like, I, I mean, were to get tricked like that, I would it would be like whatever. Whatever, man. I don't give a fuck. I hear you on that. A lot of people get upset. If I got tricked by a lady boy, I obviously I don't know how I would react cuz that would be I think that would be a rough morning. I, I just immediately pictured you moment. 69, but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Suck at someone's dick and be like <laughs> <laughs> Once they come, be like, "Whoa, what the <laughs> fuck was no, that? Fuck out of here! Did you just come, dude? <laughs> I thought it was your clip the whole time. <laughs> ah, you made us gay now. Uh, yeah, I don't think that would that would. I mean, I would feel sad about myself. I'd be like, the "What the day. fuck am I doing?" But well, I wouldn't. I would never like everybody like attacks the lady boy that's or crazy. Yeah, that's punches weird, the man. lady boy. I also don't think you're. I'm gonna you can't punch the lady channel boy. my older brother a little bit on this, but it's like if you. Don't have like a borderline gay experience. You don't know if you're gay or not. You're just in like a weird orbit where like you're just wait. No, you that's guys, that's incorrect. Did you guys report yeah. on this Catholic Church story that broke? What about what, like fucking kids? How, how no, like how seventy <laughs> percent of like the Vatican is just gay dudes. I mean, we talked about that Been two years that. ago. Yeah, with, with uh, yeah, O'Leary. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Father what about, what about the guy? What about Father the O'Leary came on and was like, most of the pedophilia and all these sex scandals stem from the fact that the church is pretty much all homosexuals. Well, obviously, obviously yeah. that leads to fucking boys. Like, obviously, it leads to the fucking well, there's some real monsters 15, 16 year old boys that are, you know, that's when it's not a pedophile. But there was some guy yeah. who was like, yeah. Well, I'm saying it's His like thing was he was like, fuck gay, they're definitely going to fuck boys. If the pedophilia is going to swing to the boy way. Yeah, but you're saying it's inherent, like Kevin. You're saying you got a lot of Kevin Spacey's rolling over there. Yeah. Have any of the priests came out with like a little like secret message? Like you guys thought I was the yeah. bad guy. Do you think it's that you they're attracted was... to young boys or that they're just gay easier guys to control? For sure. what, easier um, to control and attracted yeah. to young boys. 
It's easier to like ship them around the Maybe that's what's attractive. World. Well, in the gay community, yeah. I thought it wasn't that like for a while, it wasn't like that scorned upon to like fuck a 17 year old hot teenager. It's not. Yeah, I heard for a that's while. That's what Milo like, was saying. Yeah, it was just like this was like a when right he was of like, passage. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Fair enough. <laughs> Especially if they're trying to like escape their home and they need a place to stay. Yeah, you go find a hot boy. You like this? You're coming up with a hot narrative, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, it's like yeah. raining out and they're at your front door. I've, you didn't ever fantasize about that in like high school? Getting like, taken just, in by a hot old ran, like Anderson no, Cooper no, pulling like a hot old, hot old lady. I think about that n- even still. Just like it'd be nice to run into like some rich, hot lady that just like takes me in for a couple. You're a gold digger, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That'd be great. That'd be great. Own path, That'd be great. Boy. Uh, that, uh, there was there was a girl once that like took you in. Lived in Philly. Yeah, yeah. She had like a fireplace and stuff. <laughs> I remember. Damn, she had a hearth. Yeah, and I would. You had like patched corduroy pants. And you like sat by them with a little like stick and <laughs> yeah, a bandana. Yeah. And I would just show up at two a.m. with a bunch of logs. It's like let's start a fire. Damn, you, where'd yeah. you get the wood from? You can just buy them at like the grocery store. You can get some logs at Seven Eleven. Yeah, she the took house you? area grocery stores. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you send you on your way? Uh, Damn, they have shit she, for like they have fireplace yeah. supplies down there. There was like what? They yeah, have fireplace yeah. supplies. Yeah, well, yeah, near Rittenhouse. All this, yeah. Damn. Um. Well, yeah. No, I then there was just that that ended by just like a weird. There was like a weird text exchange. She was like, "Come over," and I was like, "I can't. I'm at a show." And then like we never spoke again or something. What? Yeah, it was just weird. Just fell apart. That happens. Huh. Yeah. We're going long as fuck, huh? Yeah, it's two yeah. hours. I just saw the time. It's late. Oh, yeah. What you uh, got to yeah. do? Nothing. All right. Nothing. I can keep talking. Oh, I, I don't just care. wasn't sure. No, that's fine. It is late. Yeah, we're, we're going long on this. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's two hours. It was, it, was a, it was a good old two hours. Good cast. Sorry for being a little late. Hopefully, uh, you know, we got a lot of stuff coming, a lot of big moves yeah, well, being made. Yeah, we did the Patreon. Well, we did that episode live at the at the... Skankfest, and we thought we'd be able to put it on regular cast, but yeah. I think we're going to need to page that. Yeah, it was just so we're going to throw this one on. I drove down from New York today, a little emergency cast, yep. so we get it out early to you guys. And uh, yeah, for sure, dude. Okani's, thanks for coming in, bro. Yeah, yeah, thanks, dude. Wow. Justin, thanks for Justin Villanueva, in. dude. He said, hit me with a shout out and say, Lisi Sean is gay. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, dude. Lisey, Who is Lisey Sean, you fucking gay, dude. But dude, I don't know. Someone, someone to say it's like someone who works in his office who started listening. It's now been called a gay. Lisey Sean. <laughs> Lisey, Sh- yeah. I don't know, but again, I, I'm looking forward to the fucking. Uh, the sh- we're adding a little Shark Tank element, so if people want to advertise. They have to go. They have to join Patreon if they're launching a business idea. No matter who it is, what business, yeah. they have to go on Patreon. They can donate as much or as little as they want. Obviously, they donate a lot. It's going to get my fucking third world dictatorized attention. <laughs> and then it's like they have to come. If they want to advertise to their podcast, they, ha- they will do a shark tank where they have to explain and pitch their idea. And we get to just ruthlessly assess it. And wow. then make it through. Well, oh, I love we'll, this we'll, idea. We'll just read their thing. No no further anything. It's just you're on the page. We'll read your thing if it made it through the shark tank. Wow. And if it fails, people will still listen to your idea. Right, it'll get out there. You'll get a little bit of buzz. Exactly. That way, we've completely turned. We've risen up against. Our You're corpor- gonna get. We've risen up against our corporate crazy overlords. Ideas. Yeah, dude. I mean, dude. I mean, we definitely could be kingmakers. Can you? Could can be. you? Yeah. What? What are some of? The, do you have any? Anyone who's pitched a business idea? Not, we, uh, yeah. We're just. We're pitching the. That's how proactive I am in business. I'm really like fucking first strike. <laughs> So it's like I I I pitched this the ring in the dinner bell yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm looking forward to that, dude. It's gonna be fun. God damn it! I'm looking for this guy. He asked for a shout out. It's not looking good for him. We got too many DMs. Damn, dude! Shout someone out. Just shout out someone at random. Who cares? What up, Mike O'Donnell? <laughs> <laughs> It's a good friend. Yeah, bring him uh, up next time, dude. G- Gabe De Palma, Michael Crow, motherfucking he, Jake, Andy Kasovich, CB. Shout out, dudes. He wanted me to call, like, Peep, shout out PP from Arkansas. Okay, what's up, PP? What up, bro? I think that was it. Yeah, also, I don't, you know, I don't think Lisey Sean Pepe? is gay. And if Lisey Sean is gay, dude. Sorry about that, if you're gay. <laughs> yeah. Join the Catholic Church. All right, farewell. Connor, thanks for weighing in, dude. Cool. Thanks for having me. Love that you don't care about getting cucked anymore. (laughs) I don't.